giving up the big play. And, uh, you know, if we can bend them in that break and make them huddle up and snap the ball again or, or snap the ball again, they're not going to huddle much. Uh, that, that'll be a plus for us. And then offensively, you just got to be able to, to move the chains and, uh, again, not turn the football over. And a, a game like this when uh, we've had some really good battles against Rodgers and uh, – you know, it all comes down to usually three or four plays. Unfortunately, you don't know which three or four plays that is, and most of them uh, involve some kind of turnover. Thank you, Coach Pratt, and good luck this week uh, this week against the Rogers Mounties. I appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be back with more of the 7A after this timeout. The electric cooperatives of Arkansas deliver reliable, affordable power to more than 60% of Arkansas, the field we call home. The 17 dedicated electrical cooperatives around the state manage over 75,000 miles of power lines, delivering power to more than half a million homes, farms, businesses, and of course, football fields, improving the lives of communities and their residents all across Arkansas. The electric cooperatives of Arkansas, the power to play, the power to deliver. I'm Rex Nelson. People travel to Arkansas to experience its natural beauty. We even market ourselves as the natural state. Our landscapes not only make this state exciting to visit, but a wonderful place to live. Not to mention the positive impact tourism has on our economy. It's our responsibility to keep our environment litter-free. Let's do our part to keep it beautiful. Visit KeepArkansasBeautiful.com to get involved. This message brought to you by this station, the Arkansas Broadcasters Association, and the Keep Arkansas Beautiful Commission. $1.2 $1.2 billion. Imagine what you could do with that much money. Well, thanks to the Arkansas Scholarship Lottery, you don't have to imagine because we can tell you exactly what's possible. You can fund more than 720,000 scholarships for Arkansas students. Scholarships that have educated teachers, nurses, engineers, welders, computer coders, and more, changing their lives and reshaping their communities in the process. So keep playing, Arkansas, and together we can imagine what happens next. Money is never an easy topic to talk about, but it is a must when you have kids. The Arkansas Brighter Future 529 plan makes saving for college or grade school quick and effortless, and all contributions are state tax deductible. Brighter Futures start today. Visit BrighterFutureDirect529.com. To learn more about the Arkansas 529 plan, its investments, objectives, risks, and costs, read the official statement at BrighterFutureDirect529.com. Paid for by the Arkansas Section 529 Plan Review Committee. Ready for a music tour through the Arkansas Delta? Let's see. Johnny Cash Boyhood Home? Check. A new rockabilly exhibit? Check again. A live broadcast of the country's longest running blues radio program? We've got it. The bronze bust of Levon Helm? On the list. Find these spots and more as you travel the Arkansas Delta Music Trail. Go to the new deltabyways.com to see all the driving tours through the Arkansas Delta Byways region. This ad paid with state and regional funds. For more than 150 years, Lyon College has provided endless opportunities for Arkansas students to contribute, create, and lead in our communities. Rooted in faith, Lyon combines a traditional education with a real-world experience in a beautiful small-town setting. As a new member of NCAA Division III, we're committed to providing opportunities for student-athletes to excel in the classroom and on the field. For more information on the Lyon College experience, visit lyon.edu. Lyon College, a better world starting in Arkansas. Your best life begins with your healthiest life. At Baptist Health, you'll find the comprehensive care you need for every person in your family. From pediatrics to primary care to women's health, we're equipped to partner with you in every phase of your wellness journey. You'll also find Baptist Health locations and clinics across the state, ensuring we're always there for you when and where you need us. Learn more about the state's most trusted name in healthcare, locate a clinic, find a provider, and more at baptist-health.com. Little Rock is where you'll be amazed by everything that awaits every member of your family. Explore sites like the Little Rock Zoo or hike to the top of Central Arkansas at Pinnacle Mountain State Park. Learn about the world around us at the Museum of Discovery. And at the Central Arkansas Nature Center, you can see alligators up close right in downtown. You can tour the Oval Office at the Clinton Presidential Library and walk in the footsteps of civil rights pioneers at historic Central High School. One experience and you'll be big on Little Rock. Learn more at LittleRock.com today. Welcome back to the Electric Cooperative of Arkansas High School Game Day Show. We're going to jump right back into Rex's Road to the Rock rankings with the top five and 7A. Conway checks in at number one after defeating North Little Rock a week ago. 
This week, the Wampus Cats will be facing Cabot. Fayetteville stays at number two after surviving a 47-42 battle over Rogers. The Purple Dogs will be on the road this week against Southside. Bryant checks in at number three following a win over Jonesboro. This weekend, the Hornets are on the road at Little Rock Central. The Bentonville Tigers picking up a big win over the Mavericks of Southside a week ago. This week, the Tigers will be hosting Rogers Heritage. And rounding out our top five, Rogers stays at number five. Despite the tough loss at Fayetteville, they host Bentonville West this week. In the 6A classification, the number one team is Greenwood, and they will be at Lake Hamilton after beating Greenbrier last week. Little Rock Christian comes in at number two, and they're coming out of a bye to face the Mountain Home Bombers. Number three, Benton is coming off a near 40-point win against Marion to play Greene County Tech. Number four, West Memphis is brand new. Win one this month from Saracen Casino and Four Cadillac. Yes, win a luxurious Cadillac Escalade ESV only at Saracen Casino. Saracen is Little Rock's closest place to play. Saracen Casino Resort, Vegas, Arkansas style. Call 800-522-4700. The love of football defines fall weekends, and in many homes, our families. But it's a demanding sport that can cause injury. That's why UAMS Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine is on sidelines and in locker rooms for high schools and colleges across the state, ready to care for athletes with clinics in Central and Northwest Arkansas. UAMS Health, official orthopedics and sports medicine provider for Razorback Athletics and future Razorbacks all over Arkansas. Learn more at UAMS are you looking for a place where your educational journey can truly thrive? Southern Arkansas University has helped thousands of people like you earn a degree. At SAU, it's not just a university, it's a supportive community dedicated to your success. Explore the accredited programs SAU has to offer led by experienced faculty who are passionate about your growth. From business and biology to education and engineering, SAU provides a comprehensive educational experience. Join the legacy of excellence at Southern Arkansas University and take the opportunity to shape your brightest future imaginable. Your journey starts in Magnolia, Arkansas. Why hold a parade that only goes one block? What in the world is a bathtub race? And how can one town be the training ground for American Pharaoh and the former playground of Al Capone? That's just hot springs being hot springs. Between thermal waters, thoroughbreds, and the world's shortest St. Patrick's Day parade, this town isn't trying to be unique. It just comes naturally. Come experience this slightly unconventional and completely wonderful place called Hot Springs, Arkansas. For more info, visit hotsprings.org. Simmons Bank, nominated by Forbes magazine as a top U.S. bank, takes great pride in investing in our friends and neighbors. For more than 100 years, we've worked to make our customers' dreams come true, earning trust with convenient and reliable financial tools, checking in savings accounts, home and consumer loans, small business loans, and low-rate credit cards. Wherever you are on your financial journey, we're there with you every step of the way. Simmons Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. Your business is up against a lot of things these days. Inflation costs, workforce issues, federal overreach, the list of things keeping you up at night keeps getting longer. The Arkansas State Chamber Associated Industries of Arkansas is here to help. We are constantly working to improve the business climate and make Arkansas as competitive as possible. The Arkansas State Chamber Associated Industries of Arkansas works tirelessly for your business so you can rest easy. Join us today. Oh, the smell of those charcoal grills. It's that time of year again when the nights are getting cooler and the trees are changing colors. I am Renata jenkins Fowler with Roller Funeral Homes, reminding us all with school back in session to watch and be careful for children in school buses, dogs being walked, and joggers. Also, this time of year has us getting ready for those tailgates and big games this week. So play hard, cheer loud, and drive carefully. Roller Funeral Homes, with all our respect. Welcome back to the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas High School Game Day Show. In 3A, number one Prescott with an impressive win over Junction City last week. This week, the Curly Wolves travel to Falk. Salem standing strong at number two following a win over Newport. This week, the Greyhounds host Melbourne. Camden Harmony Grove is at number three following a tough win over Walnut Ridge. This week, the Hornets host Ryzen. Boonville with an impressive shutout victory against West Fork a week ago. This week, the Bearcats face Greenland at home, and Hoxie hanging in there at number five after beating Palestine Wheatley a week ago. This week, the Mustangs will host Piggott. 
Earlier this week, Chase had a chance to catch up with Coach Daniel Keithley, the coach of Rising 3A School, Bismarck. We are back on the Baptist Health Studio Lines with Coach Daniel Keithley, head coach of the Bismarck Lions. Coach, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, Coach, it has been a strong start to the season, and one of the keys to success for your team in the last few weeks has been defense, allowing no more than eight points in each of the last three games. What has allowed that unit to stay locked in? Well, uh, you know, our defensive coordinator, Coach Brown, he does a great job uh, of getting those guys amped up and ready to go. Uh, that's one of the point of emphasis that we've really had going on this year, just flying the football. Uh, we've got pretty good team speed. Uh, we don't have just a whole lot of size, but we got about three or four guys getting to the ball uh, just as quickly as possible, um, you know, and just scheming each team up, uh, putting them in the best position uh, that we can possible. But uh, defense has definitely been, a, been a, a bright spot for us this year and a point of emphasis. And just this last week, fourth win in a row for the Lions, this one on the road against a good Paris squad, winning that one 41 to nothing. What was the key to success in that game? Well, I'll tell you, we actually started off a little bit slow, just kind of both teams just kind of uh, trading the ball back and forth. Uh, we finally got it started, uh, opening up the passing game a little bit with a, a touchdown pass to Tony Weeks. Uh, they got it going, but uh, – you know, they just they, – they were pretty good up front, um, you know, and they were getting pressure on our quarterback. We thought we could throw it on them, but we, we weren't given uh, time to protect at first. But, uh, but once we kind of got our, our legs underneath, you know, it was a three-hour drive, but uh, get our legs going underneath us and, and get going, uh, we felt pretty good about it. Uh, you know, defense kept us in the game all the way until the offense started going. Uh, and when, when your defense is, is playing as well as they have been, it's a little bit easier to win ball games. Well, Coach, this week a matchup against a team that you all have a bit of history with, the Glen Rose Beavers, obviously not too far of a trip for the Beavers coming to Bismarck. What can we expect from that matchup? Well, man, Glen Rose is always a, a, a hard-nosed, tough team. Uh, you know, they're another hot spring county school. Um, you know, there's, there's one thing you can never say about the, the, the Glen Rose Beavers. They're going to be – tough uh, they're going to get after they're going to fly the football and they're going to be well coached um they're just a greedy team uh you know so they're going to be it, it's going to be a tough out for us for sure um you know we got to do a good job about they've got a they've got a running back that uh and he's balanced that just he's tough to bring down he's always running his feet um and we're going to have to score in the football uh, as soon as we get that opportunity not give him a chance to uh break loose and get the open field um up front, we've got to be able to control the line of scrimmage. They're always solid on the O line, D line, um, and and that's an area that we got to get better at for sure. Um, I think we can run the ball on them. Uh, it'll open up our passing game, um, but you know they're going to they're they're to, to me. Glen Rose is a top five team for sure, uh, and so we're going to bring our A game. All right. Well, thank you, Coach, and good luck this week against the Beavers. Thank you. Now rounding it out with 2A, number one, Mineral Springs remains undefeated after a 70-point shutout against Lafayette County and will host the Dierks Outlaws. Number two, Hazen is coming off a victory against Baptist Prep and will play the England Lions. Number three, Bigelow remain undefeated after a victory over Ryzen and will host the Wildcats of Hector. Number four, Desark beat Lee last week and will head north to play Mark Tree. And number five, East Poinsett County they are headed to Cherry Valley to face the Cross County Thunderbirds after a victory at Macquarie. We'll be back after this timeout. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas's team of over 2,000 employees has one mission, deliver reliable, affordable, responsible power to 1.2 million members across Arkansas. But closings of base low power plants across America are making this tougher and tougher. We believe in intermittent resources like wind and solar, but the sun doesn't always shine and the wind doesn't always blow. A balance of power game plan that includes every energy resource is a must with the Friday Night Lights break. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. 
I'm Rex Nelson. Outside of the state's natural beauty, the thing that strikes me most as I travel Arkansas is the junk in yards and trash along the highways. In a place that markets itself as a natural state, we've too often been guilty of, at best, ignoring our natural treasures, at worst, polluting and littering them. Let's take pride in our state by keeping it litter-free. Visit KeepArkansasBeautiful.com to get involved. This message brought to you by this station, the Arkansas Broadcasters Association, and the Keep Arkansas Beautiful Commission. Your best life begins with your healthiest life. At Baptist Health, you'll find the comprehensive care you need for every person in your family. From pediatrics to primary care to women's health, we're equipped to partner with you in every phase of your wellness journey. You'll also find Baptist Health locations and clinics across the state, ensuring we're always there for you when and where you need us. Learn more about the state's most trusted name in healthcare, locate a clinic, find a provider, and more at baptist-health.com. We all have our traditions, from Friday night lights to Saturday morning hunts. These are the traditions we pass down to the next generation. Now, we might have hung up our cleats a long time ago, but come tomorrow morning, we can still put on our camo and hunter orange, because some traditions last a lifetime. Get your hunting license and enjoy a season of memories, both on the field and in the woods. This message is brought to you by the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. Hunt natural. The vehicle you'd buy if money was no object? Cadillac Escalade. With cash in hand, you'd still wait months to buy an Escalade and probably pay thousands over sticker books. Don't wait to buy your dream car, because you can win one this month from Saracen Casino and or Cadillac. Yes, win a luxurious Cadillac Escalade ESV only at Saracen Casino. Saracen is Little Rock's closest place to play. Saracen Casino Resort. Vegas, Arkansas style. Call 800-522-4700. Simmons Bank, nominated by Forbes magazine as a top U.S. bank, takes great pride in investing in our friends and neighbors. For more than 100 years, we've worked to make our customers' dreams come true, earning trust with convenient and reliable financial tools, checking in savings accounts, home and consumer loans, small business loans, and low-rate credit cards. Wherever you are on your financial journey, we're there with you every step of the way. Simmons Bank. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Subject to credit approval. What does it feel like to know it matters to others how you're doing? What's weighing on your mind? That you're happy right now? That your body's healthy? And that those around you are taken care of too? Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield has been taking care of Arkansans for more than 70 years. Providing health insurance and peace of mind. So you and the ones you love can live your best life your whole life long. Take good care, Arkansas. The University of Central Arkansas delivers more than you ever imagined. So many programs, lots of housing options, top facilities, and opportunities for the future. All more accessible than ever. It's the full college experience of your dreams, with everything from city attractions to outdoor adventure. And it's just an easy drive away, because UCA lets you take on college your way. Go UCA! Are you ready for Bear Country? Get started now at uca.edu. Welcome back to the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas High School Game Day Show. In this segment, Chase and I are going to talk about some of our games of the week. So I have a bunch of games that I really like coming up. In the 6A classification, Marion will host the Searcy Lions, two very strong, only one loss schools. In 5A, Lakeside Rams will be in Texarkana playing Arkansas High School. Whitehall, they will be at the Devil Dogs of Moralton, both schools with very solid records. In the 4A classification, the Lincoln Wolves will host the Ozark Hillbillies. The Central Arkansas Christian Mustangs will be at Pottsville. And 6-0 and DeWitt will be at Crossit. Chris, a couple matchups that I have my eye on. I'll start her out in Northwest Arkansas, Mansfield is undefeated on the season and traveling to the defending 3A state champion Charleston. Should be a fun matchup there. And then in the other corner of the state, up in northeast Arkansas, Highland traveling to Blytheville. The Rebels are 4-1 and one on the year. Blytheville is 3-2. and two. Should be a fun matchup between the Rebels and the Chickasaws. Now, Chris, it's time to reveal our Arkansas Brighter Futures 5-2-9 game of the week. And I think there's no better choice than the top five matchup in 5A 
between Mills and Pine Bluff. For the Comets coming off a tough loss against Maumel a week ago, this is a big game for Mills if it wants to try to maintain momentum in that race for the 5A Central Crown. On the flip side of that, Pine Bluff, you're looking to keep the momentum going after winning four in a row to start off conference play. The Zebras looking to pull off a big win in front of the home crowd. That's going to wrap up this week's edition of the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas High School Game Day Show. We hope you enjoyed our program, and be sure to tune in at 10 o'clock for the Simmons Bank Friday Night Scoreboard Show on this station. From 10 to midnight, Rex Nelson and Nate Olson will give you the latest scores and updates from around the state, as well as the newest Rex's Road to the Rock rankings. Tonight's broadcast has been brought to you by Simmons Bank, UAMS Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, Arkansas Delta Byways Regional Tourism, the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas, Hot Springs, Keep Arkansas Beautiful, Saracen Casino Resort in Pine Bluff, the Arkansas Scholarship Lottery, Arkansas Brighter Futures 529, Lyon College, Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield, the University of Central Arkansas, Arkansas Game and Fish, Polar Funeral Home, Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia, Murphy Arts District in El Dorado, Washita Baptist University, and the Great American Conference. The DeQueen Leopards are on the air. DeQueen Leopards football, proudly presented by Gentry Chevrolet, online at gentrychevy.com. Nobody beats a Gentry deal. DeQueen Auto Group, our area's Ford Dodge Chrysler Jeep dealer. We're Hauser. We don't just grow trees. The Woods Agency Shelter Insurance. Are you covered? Check with Jeff Woods. DeQueen Abstract Company. We worry about the details of real estate transactions so you don't have to. Bailey Discount Building Supply. Everything for the home builder and do-it-yourselfer. McDonald's. I'm loving it. Proud to present the Leopards Player of the Game. DeQueen Church of Christ. Love, serve, grow. Pilgrims of DeQueen. A good employer and a top-notch corporate citizen. Ricky's Body Shop. Lakeside Drive. Quality auto body repair since 1982. Diamond Bank, offering sound and meaningful financial services. Chandler Funeral Home, dedicated to the care of those we serve. Audubel National Bank, where your dreams become reality. Howard Memorial, offering primary health care. Your new healthy starts here. Fun and Learn Lab, preschool and daycare, Sevier County Developmental Center on College Drive in DeQueen. Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services, 990 Highway 70 East, phone 642-5900. Red River Credit Union, providing our members with savings and loan services. Wilkerson Funeral Home, putting families first since 1929. Housing Authority of Sevier County, providing safe and affordable housing. Farmers Bank and Trust, friends and neighbors helping each other find financial solutions for a lifetime. Bruce Westerman for United States Congress. Visit www.brucewesterman.com. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Center, giving you something to smile about. First State Bank of DeQueen, we're big on you. Four States Fiber, internet service you can be happy about. Visit fourstatesfiber.com and check availability. Ivan Smith Furniture in Nashville where you'll find everything to furnish your home both stylishly and affordably. State Representative Deanne Vaughn, proud to serve Southwest Arkansas at the state capitol. And now, let's go to the stadium with Tony Stowers and Greg Revels. Good evening, everyone. Tonight's pregame show brought to you by Bristow Custom Metals, the top metal fabricators in the Arklatex. Experts in metal artwork from custom metal fire pits to metal spiral staircases, handrails, company signs, and more. CNC plasma and water jet cutting, powder coating, welding, and mobile sand blessing services available. And they are an officially licensed partner of the Arkansas Razorbacks, specializing in Razorback logo metal wall art. Get a quote at Bristow Custom Metals on Facebook. All right, we'll go to the Leopard locker room with Coach Richard Bell and the voice of the Leopards, Jay Bunyard, after this timeout. We all have our traditions, from Friday night lights to Saturday morning hunts. 
These are the traditions we pass down to the next generation. Now, we might have hung up our cleats a long time ago, but come tomorrow morning, we can still put on our camo and hunter orange, because some traditions last a lifetime. Get your hunting license and enjoy a season of memories, both on the field and in the woods. This message is brought to you by the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. Hunt natural. Truck season is now at Gentry Chevrolet. Save big on new 23 Chevy Silverado 1500. Get 750 cash back plus 0% financing on America's hardworking truck. Or choose from over 100 quality pre-owned vehicles to meet your needs and budget. Drive payment free for three full months. That's no payment for three months. Hurry to Gentry Chevrolet in Queen or online at GentryChevyInc.com. Whatever credit, 10000 dollars purchase price from maintenance details of dealer and 9323. Simmons Bank, nominated by Forbes magazine as a top U.S. bank, takes great pride in investing in our friends and neighbors. For more than 100 years, we've worked to make our customers' dreams come true, earning trust with convenient and reliable financial tools, checking in savings accounts, home and consumer loans, small business loans, and low-rate credit cards. Wherever you are on your financial journey, we're there with you every step of the way. Simmons Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. Pickup truck, sports car, motorcycle, minivan, townhouse, two-story, farmhouse, fixer-upper. What you drive and where you live is different for everyone. So it's important to have insurance that fits your needs and is just right for you. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that, which is why our agents help you design a comprehensive auto, home, and life insurance plan. Insurance that fits just right. We're your shield. We're your shelter. The agent Jeff Woods or agency representatives Debbie Seymour, Jennifer Walker, or Christina Carver. You're on the come up and proud of your grind, which is why the McDonald's app is your favorite app. Waiting in lines? Not great for your bottom line. So you hit the app to order ahead. Your faves are ready when you pull up and you're on your way again with the quickness. Order ahead in the McDonald's app to save time. Use the app, get large fries for a buck. We'll prep while you're on the way when you choose dine-in, curbside, or counter pickup. I participate in McDonald's. Offer valid through 12 31 23. This offer is only available on the McDonald's app. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas's team of over 2,000 employees has one mission. Deliver reliable, affordable, responsible power to 1.2 million members across Arkansas. But closings of baseload power plants across America are making this tougher and tougher. We believe in intermittent resources like wind and solar, but the sun doesn't always shine and the wind doesn't always blow. A balance of power game plan that includes every energy resource is a must to keep the Friday night lights bright. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Hello again, everyone. Jay Bunyard in Hot Springs as we're setting the stage for the Leopards and the Trojans in our pregame visit with Coach Richard Bell. Brought to you by San Juan's Automotive Repair. The diagnostic specialist can get to the source of your automotive issues with state-of-the-art diagnostic equipment combined with expertise in automotive repair. San Juan's also offers electrical and engine repair suspension lifts and repair, brakes and transmission services on all makes and models. They're located one mile north of the 7071 junction on J.B. Logan Circle. And Coach Bell, we thought the Leopards looked like a different team against the defending state champs from Parkview last week. I mean, the kids didn't back down an inch after reviewing the film. Would you agree? Yeah, I thought that they uh, came out and played hard, as I do every game. Uh, again, uh, against Parkview, uh, I thought that I had a you know speech with the kids about being you know unrelenting uh, you know you know and being relentless every play and uh, just you know you have nothing to lose type game and uh, they really took that to heart. Uh, they came out and played every snap hard. Uh, again, I, I believe they do every time they go out with me. But again, I think it showed a little bit uh, against Parkview because we had some success uh, success on the offense and defensive side. Uh, it wasn't a one sided game as far as us on on competitiveness. I thought that. Uh, the boys uh, really brought the hat on time that they could on defense, and I thought that we moved the ball well. Well, it was a very physical game against Parkview, especially looking at the size differential we were giving up at, e at each position. Uh, so kind of catch us up on our what our injury situation looks like and who you may need to step up to help fill some of those gaps this week. Uh, well, uh, we're down to our third string fullback. Uh, we're down to third string linebackers. Uh, so, you know, we started the season with two senior linebackers and a junior linebacker. So this week uh, I'm anticipating starting three sophomores across the board of linebacker. Uh, 
I, I don't uh, really think that our fullback will be back. He has a, uh, a deep, deep uh, shin bruise. Uh, he got a helmet to the shin, had a huge pop knot on it, couldn't walk. Uh, so that's our third string fullback, which is also a sophomore. Uh, our tight end uh, got his helmet ripped off. And uh, first thing he made contact to the ground was his head without a helmet on. So he had a concussion. So uh, we went into the game. Uh, down four, and now we're down six starters. Uh, but again, and you know, it's next guy up, and the guys that we put in the game, uh, I thought did well. I think Rusty, uh, who came in to do fullback and linebacker for us, did an outstanding job uh, filling in the gaps for us. So yeah, it's next guy up. I, I hope there's not very many more because we're running out of next guys. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, I wanted to take a moment and uh, break away and, and talk about the junior high program a little bit, as well as your seventh and eighth grade programs. I know Luis Sotelo is uh, putting up some big numbers for the Cubs, and I know you're particularly excited about those seventh and eighth graders. Uh, so there are certainly reasons for Leopard fans to be optimistic as we look forward. Yeah, uh, our seventh and eighth and ninth grade group, uh, a real good group of kids. I coached them all in Pee Wee, and, and so I've been around them for quite a long time. Uh, you know, uh, what we try to do in seventh grade is, you know, right now, I, I think I've said before, we have 50 kids out in seventh grade, so I try to play uh, every kid, you know, try to keep those numbers high. And so in most of all of our seventh grade games that we played, we've either been ahead or tied at halftime, and that's when I start playing everybody, you know, just so everybody can have a little bit more, uh, you know, playing time and see it. And then eighth grade, the same way. Our eighth grade bunch has either won most of their games or been winning at halftime, and then, you know, we take those guys out and try to play everybody. When it comes to ninth grade, that's when I think that, you know, you're preparing for your senior high career. So if you're a starter, you're a starter and you're playing. So seventh and eighth grade, I'll try to get all the kids out there to play to keep the numbers up. But, again, if we played all starters all the time in seventh – in eighth grade, you know, I, I, I don't see many games that they do lose, you know. So they're a good group of guys. Hopefully we can keep them all out. Uh, hopefully none of them move, move off and, and uh, you know, they stay healthy and keep them in the weight room and, and hopefully the program's going in the right direction. Well, we're looking forward to that. Well, uh, back to the business at hand tonight. Coach Daryl Burnett returns uh, Hot Springs. to He's returning them to their glory days. He's 70 kids out, 15 returning starters. they got a three-year starter at quarterback, Matthew Contreras. Just a very talented team. Yeah, uh, he definitely does. Like again, when you when you watch their film, uh, you know, as far as their their D line and their O line, the O line is massive. I mean, they're not the biggest part of you, but they're big. And then their D line has a lot of speed to it. Uh, their receivers can just literally just outrun you down the sideline and go get the football. The quarterback has a great arm uh, on, on letting it go down the sideline. He has confidence in his receivers when he lets it go for them to go get it. Again, there's three or four plays where they were five, six yards uh, behind Hope running full tilt, you know, and Hope could keep up with them. Uh, so they have, a, they have a lot of talent. Uh, again, uh, he's doing a good job with those kids on getting them out. The kids is a, is a big number. Hot Springs is a big town, so I, I expect that. Well, uh, we keep referencing the effort and the performance in that first quarter against Parkview, that eight-place, 78-yard drive that included some big runs by Esther and Binkley. I know you'd like to see more of that going forward, starting with tonight. Yeah, uh, the, the way that we can tell that our offense is clicking uh, well is, you know, when we get to the third phase of a play. So, it's uh, you know, the quarterback can either give it to the fullback or he can pull it. And that the quarterback pulls it, he can either keep it or he can pitch it. And and so on the triple option, we got there quite a bit against Parkview. Parkview would smoke our, smoke our fullback. We'd pull it. Quarterback had it. Cole Binkley uh, was going to get hit, so he, he, he pitches it to Esther down the sideline for a good, you know, 20-something yard gain. And then two or three plays later, uh, they hit the fullback, and the guy that decides not to hit Binkley, so he tucks it and runs for, you know, a 30, 27, 30-yard 30 t- touchdown run. So uh, the guys are seeing it. Uh, they're picking it up. Uh, it's starting to click with them. Uh, again, you know, I, I can only see them getting better from here. Well, Coach, good luck against the Trojans here in the Spa City tonight. Go Leopards. All right, that's Coach Richard Bell. And our pregame visit with Coach Bell brought to you by San Juan's Automotive Repair. Why waste time and money on mechanics to replace parts to rule out the problem when you can have San Juan's diagnose the problem and fix it right the first time? They're located one mile north of the 7071 junction on J.B. Logan Circle, open 8 to 6, Monday through Friday. Greg, Tony, and I will be back with more pregame from Hot Springs following this three-minute timeout. 
Smiles of Arkansas is committed to providing quality dental care and oral health education to children and adults. At Smiles, patient trust, comfort, and satisfaction are among their top priorities. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Centers are staffed with highly skilled general dentists, hygienists, and friendly staff to offer you the quality dental care you need and deserve. Smiles accepts our kids and most other dental plans. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Center, located in the Cultural Awareness Center in downtown Queen. Call 642-SMILE, 642-7645. Legendary coach Paul Bear Bryant from Fordyce, Arkansas, once said, It's not the will to win that matters. Everyone has that. It's the will to prepare to win that matters. Congratulations to all the players and coaches who have put in the hours in the summer, in the weight room, in the film room, and on the practice field. I'm Congressman Bruce Westerman, and I approve this message because high school athletics prepares for victories on and off the field. Paid for by Westerman for Congress. Banking locally does a lot for your community. Diamond Bank is a family-owned community bank that makes all of our decisions locally. With Diamond Bank's new rewards checking accounts, we pay you to bank with us. Earn a high interest rate or get cash back every month. Stop by one of our 15 convenient locations today and discover the Diamond Bank difference. Or visit us online at www.diamond.bank. Diamond Bank, 404 East Conway Drive in Queen. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. I'm Rex Nelson. People travel to Arkansas to experience its natural beauty. We even market ourselves as the natural state. Our landscapes. I love my church family. Amo a mi familia de la iglesia. I love my church family. I love my church family. At the Deep Dream Church of Christ, we are a community of Jesus followers. We are not a group of perfect people, but our glory is in the cross of Jesus Christ and the saving power of His grace. Our church family has a relaxed nature with a passion for sharing Jesus. We would love to see you this Sunday at 10.15 a.m. or check out our website at dqcoc.com. As the sun sets in the Spa City, we roll into week six of the high school football season tonight as the DeQueen Leopards come a-calling on homecoming here at Hot Springs High School against the Trojans. Hello again, everyone. I'm Jay Bunyard. You'll be calling the play-by-play -play for you again tonight. Alongside my good friend, colleague, and former Leopard, Greg Rebels. Greg, a lot of excitement here tonight. We've got Channel 7 uh, and their crew broadcasting live. Big homecoming crowd and uh, got a good football game home the way we hope. We hope so, Jay. Going to be another tough matchup for the Leopards. I think the uh, uh, Hot Springs team is probably the second best team in the conference. Now, you couldn't tell that by the way Parkview played them because they beat Park. Parkview beat them just as badly as they beat us. Okay. And but uh, they, you know they've got a really good team. They've got a great quarterback. Star already thrown for over a thousand yards. Uh, you know they've got a receiver with uh, eleven touchdowns this year already, and and uh, you know just just a really great offense. It's going to be a good test for the Leopards tonight. Greg's talking about quarterback Matt Contreras, a three-year starter, and their wideout, senior wideout, <coughs> T.J. Brogdon. And we've seen a lot of him over the last three years. Let's go down on the field now for the third member of our broadcast crew, Tony Stowers. And uh, Tony, uh, Leopards played their best quarter of the year last week to open up the Parkview game. And I know Coach Bell would like to see that first quarter effort here tonight extended out over four quarters. You know, it was great effort. And a lot of people thought that Parkview would have the Queen in a merciful situation maybe by the end of the first quarter. Actually didn't happen until 1048 of the third quarter. The Leopards, they played with, uh, with a lot of heart, and it'll take that kind of effort tonight. It's the Bristow Custom Metals pregame show, the top metal fabricators in the Arklatex. So we're going to roll into, unfortunately, a very busy leopard injury update. It's brought to you by Simply Chiropractic. Simply Chiropractic in the Queen and Broken Bow provides one-on-one -on -one personalized patient care, both in English and Spanish. Dr. Kenneth Erickson offers light adjustments, pediatric and pregnancy care, acupuncture and cupping, pharmaceutical grade nutrition and more relieve your pain the non-invasive way request an appointment today by calling 469-224-0222 well, tony i wish you could streamline this injury report but uh, <laughs> it, it may take a while well the uh, it's still a four 
because uh, we get Henry Campazzo back tonight, but we lose McCaden Smith, who was injured last week in the Parkview game. You add to that the regulars that have been on there for a while. Jackson Van Winkle with the foot, Juan Penanzola with the knee, and uh, Romero Bahina. So uh, it's, it's the same as it was last week. You, 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 get, you get Henry, you lose McCaden. Well, Greg, it's getting to where we're starting a lot of sophomores on that deep pitch. You know, Kyle Williamson on the on the line. We got a couple of sophomore linebackers tonight. Rusty Bermeo gets the start. Uh, also, of course, Jake Mark. Uh, this team's getting young as the season goes on. It really is, and, and you know, I think there's two aspects of that. One is uh, some younger players are playing their way into uh, playing status, and secondly. We've got some injuries that have caused those players to get to play. And another sophomore, number 77, Zayden uh, DeCazes. I hope I'm saying that name correctly. He'll be starting a defensive tackle tonight. So that's your injury update brought to you by Simply Chiropractic, Dr. Kenneth Erickson, just north of the 7071 Junction in DeQueen. We'll be back to take a look at the starting lineup. We'll have the keys to victory. Coin toss, opening kickoff, and play-by-play -play between the Queen and Hot Springs following this three-minute timeout. Accidents happen. Ricky's Body Shop can repair your dings or accident damage with results that speak for themselves. Ricky's Body Shop makes it easy, affordable, and reliable. They accept all insurances. You have a choice when it comes to repairing your vehicle, regardless of where your insurance company recommends. Plus, professional home, auto, and commercial class repair and replacement. It's Ricky's Body Shop, Lakeside Drive in DeQueen, 870-642-2811. The vehicle you'd buy if money was no object? Cadillac Escalade. With cash in hand, you'd still wait months to buy an Escalade and probably pay thousands over sticker price. Don't wait to buy your dream car because you can win one this month from Saracen Casino and or Cadillac. Yes, win a luxurious Cadillac Escalade ESV only at Saracen Casino. Saracen is Little Rock's closest place to play. Saracen Casino Resort, Vegas, Arkansas style. Get no problem? Call 800-522-4700. Wilkerson Funeral Home, proud to be a sponsor of this Leopards broadcast. Just like the Leopards, Wilkerson Funeral Home has always been a proud, strong part of our community. For years, the Wilkerson family has been serving families in Southwest Arkansas. They understand that each family member and every life remembered are uniquely different from any other. Putting families first and ensuring that each life is properly honored is their promise to you. Wilkerson Funeral Home, dependable and professional service since 1929. Supporting the Dequeen Leopards, it's a Wilkerson Funeral Home. At Ibel National Bank, we encourage you to use your skills to make a positive impact in your community through volunteerism. A world of kindness comes from people just like you who care by volunteering. Community service is so important to us at Idabel National Bank. And working together, we can make our dreams become a reality. Idabel National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Jay, Greg, and Tony back at Hot Springs High as we're setting the stage for the DeQueen Leopards and the Hot Springs Trojans. And while we're awaiting the co-captains and the coin toss, we'll give you our starting lineups now for the Leopards, brought to you by Twisted Tines Outfitters. Twisted Tines Outfitters, your hunting, fishing, camping headquarters located in DeQueen, just north of the 7071 Junction, where you can shop for new hunting rifles, get your gunner bow serviced, and stock up on hunting and fishing essentials, unique home decor, gifts, and jewelry. The slot backs for the Leopards will be Donovan Esther, who's rushed for 147 yards and a touchdown, and Ulysses Cotto, who's rushed for 136 yards on the season. The quarterback will be Cole Binkley, 7 of 19, throwing the football for 65 yards. The wideouts will be Trent Matthews and Lance Wise. The fullback will be Gareth Quintero. And across the offensive line tonight, the tackles will be Logan Chandler, and Kanan Billingsley, the guards will be Esteban Alvarez and Jeremiah Cotto. And the starting center tonight for the Leopards will be Will Collins, a 240-pound senior. That's the Leopards starting lineups brought to you by Twisted Times Outfitters, just north of the 7071 Junction in DeQueen. Visit them on Facebook for updates, new arrivals, and all things outdoors. 
Let's move on to the keys to victory now, brought to you by s and Tire Shop number two. s and Tire Shop number two offers you new and used tires for every make and model from brand, brands you trust, like Michelin, BF Goodrich, Pirelli, Bridgestone, Goodyear, and others. If they don't have it, they can order it. They also offer tire and brake repair, and they're the only tire shop in the area open late and open seven days a week. Store hours Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. You can find them at 116 South Lakeside Drive in the Queen. Tony, we'll start with you. Your keys to victory tonight. Well, Jay, I think you've already mentioned it. I think it's, it's going to be that effort we got last week. If, if we give that kind of effort tonight, uh, hit them in the mouth a couple of times like we did Parkview last week, this could be a good ball game. Maybe you get a few breaks. Maybe a few things go our way. All right, Greg, your thoughts? Uh, my thoughts are that we're going to have to play pass defense like we haven't played all year long. Because uh, looking at their stats, they're a passing football team. And we're we're going to have to uh, make sure that we shut their passing game down in order to contain them. There's your keys to victory brought to you by s c Tire Shop number 2 on South Lakeside Drive in Queen. Bilingual services are available. They're open Monday through Saturday. 8 a.m. till 7 p.m. and Sundays, 8 a.m. till 3 p.m. The leopard co-captains tonight will be Julio Sotelo, Andy Garcia, and Fernando Aparicio as the leopards in their road white with black numerals outlined in gold. Let's go down on the field now for the coin toss brought to you by Wilkerson Funeral Hall, putting families first since 1949. Good game going here in the house. I feel we do everything right, okay? All right, who am I going to talk to over here? Corey Fuller and number nine. Okay, I got a coin here. That's going to be heads. Okay? That's going to be tail. Okay? All right, I want to call it now. Come on, flip it. Tail, he called tail, right? It is head. You want the ball. All right, we told you you want to put You want to take this one? Put your back if you heard the uh, Hot Springs Trojans with the toss, and uh, they elect to receive. The Leopards will kick off and defend the east goal here in the opening quarter, going from our left to our right. Greg, I don't think we've won a coin toss all year. I, would know. <laughs> yeah, I asked Henry when we were standing over here waiting on the Hot Springs campus, and he said, I'm going to call tails. And, uh, <laughs> and we, we've gone with tails all season. <laughs> okay. Apparently, they're one side of coin. <laughs> I didn't check that coin out. You know, I thought tails never fails, but uh, we haven't had any luck with that. It might be that uh, two-sided buffalo nickel that Andy tried to get the money. <laughs> All right. Uh, tonight's opening kickoff brought to you by the Queen Self Storage. Because everyone needs a little space sometimes. The Queen Self Storage West offers a variety of self storage vehicles. It's in by 20. It's easy access on the holiday drive. Also, coming soon is their brand new location, the Queen Self Storage North. Set to open, consisting of 150 units, which are 10 by 15 and 10 by 20, with some of those being climate controlled. Called Brenda Sullivan, 870-582-1846 for more information. Both teams out on the field now. The Leopards on the far side here at uh, Joe C. Reese Stadium. The Trojans occupy the home uh, sidelines in front of the home press box where Greg and I are sitting this evening. This is the 15th meeting all time between the Leopards and the Trojans. Hot Springs owns an 8-6 to six advantage in the series. The Leopards won at 59, 34 to nothing en route to an 8-3 season. 1962, Coach Jack Bell's final season before moving on to become superintendent. The Queen won 13 to 6. 63, that was Don Hubbard's first year. Leopards rolled 25 to 6 en route to an 8-2 campaign. They were went 47 years without playing from 1963 to 2012. When the series resumed as the Leopards and the Trojans conference opponent. The Trojans won three in a row, but the Leopards won three in a row from 2015 to 2017 by a score of 42 to 7 as Cirillo Resendez rushed for 169 yards and four touchdowns. And Drew Dykes, our junior high touchdown, threw for 122 yards and had a touchdown run. 
In 2016, we nipped them 29-28 when Docs found Cedric Bill for the 66-yard pass with a minute 38 to play, and Maurice Moore took it in for the two-point conversion run. And in 2017, Adrian Mendoza had a big night here in Hot Springs, rushing for 135 yards and three touchdowns as the Leopards rolled 28-8. In the last five years, the series has belonged to the Trojans, and the Leopards would like to snap that five-game losing streak to Hot Springs here tonight. Rodrigo Garcia has it teed up, and we're underway. It's a short kick, and it'll be recovered by the Trojans near the midfield stripe. Leopards uh, tried to catch them off guard a little bit that time, Greg, but uh, they were alert. Garcia used his soccer kick to kick it from uh, looked like he was going to the left, and he kicked it over to the right. But the Hot Springs Trojans were ready for that and fell on it. Matt Contreras in the pistol. The running back to his left, I believe, is Perry Jones. Contreras straight ahead handoff to Jones. Bounces outside to his left. Good yardage across the Leopard 40 all the way down to the 38-yard line. The ball carrier is Perry Jones, and he'll quickly he'll quick pick up 11 and the Hot Springs first down. Brought down there by Wise. Along with number 20, Noah Varilla. Hot Springs will go fast as they set it down at the 40 yard line. Now the official will step in and. Uh, That's enough for a Hot Springs Trojan. First down. They set the chains. Now everybody at the line of scrimmage. Contreras in the pistol wants to flip it out the right flat, complete to Brogdon. Breaks a tackle at the 30, the 20, the 10. He's going to go. Touchdown, Hot Springs. 40 yards from Contreras to T.J. Brockton, and that made it look pretty easy that time, Greg. And, and, yeah, T.J. Brockton looked, made it look easy, and he just ran away from John John Mahine, and uh, looked like a good block there on number four, Cotto. Tony? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. On to attempt the extra point will be uh, number 48. That's going to be Brian Tolentino, and he makes it uh, 7 to nothing With 11-18 to go opening quarter, kickoff in one minute. DeQueen Auto Group has a full line of rental vehicles to suit any need. They carry full-size cars, minivans, SUVs, trucks, and passenger vans. Their roomy 12 and 15 passenger vans are perfect for family and church trips or sporting events. They also have reasonable price vehicles for insurance claims. Call their rental department at DeQueen Auto Group, 870-642-3604, option 6 for details. DeQueen Auto Group, proud sponsors of this year's Leopard Sports Broadcast. Your best life begins with your healthiest life. At Baptist Health, you'll find the comprehensive care you need for every person in your family. From pediatrics to primary care to women's health, we're equipped to partner with you in every phase of your wellness journey. You'll also find Baptist Health locations and clinics across the state, ensuring we're always there for you when and where you need us. Learn more about the state's most trusted name in healthcare, locate a clinic, find a provider, and more at baptist-health.com. Back deep for the Leopards will be John John Bahina, averaging uh, 19.1 yards per return. They're going to kick it away from him, and the up back at the 15 who drops it, Ball still loose, but the Leopards uh, will fall on it at the 19-yard line as uh, Larry Labor just had trouble handling that kick. Yeah, just fell on it at the 19-yard line. Uh, I want to mention John John just for a second because he had a really great game last Thursday against Barton uh, returning kicks. Um, that scoring play by the Trojans, two plays, 50 yards in 42 seconds, the last – 40 yards of it covered by a pass from Contreras to Brogdon for the touchdown. So, Cole Bisley and company will start at their 19 yards. There is a flex strong set. We've got a boom in the backfield. No call. It's a power sweep left, and the Trojans are going to smell that out and drop Esther for a loss of two back to the 17 yard line. Well, they blew that one up. The early going. Yeah, just. Uh, the whole left side of the defensive front for the Trojans in the backfield of the Leopards that time. I want to welcome everyone viewing on DQ TV. 
the game is being shown live tonight since it is a road game. You can go to YouTube and search for DQ TV and watch the action tonight. Straight ahead, ahead. No, it makes the Contero, and Binkley looks cheap. He might get a yard. Uh, they're going to say no gain at the 18-yard line, so it's going to bring a third and 12. The Leopards were hoping to be able to run between the tackles tonight. They, they didn't feel like they had the speed to get outside on Hot Springs, but, boy, the first two plays have uh, found them going up the middle very tough. They, uh, Hot Springs got a, a really good-looking defensive line, Jay. Line to get for the Leopards, the 29, we'll call it third and about uh, 11. They'll run the option left. They'll pitch to Cotto, cuts back at the line of scrimmage, and he'll fall forward to about the 20-yard line for a pickup of uh, two yards on that. And that's going to bring up third and long, or fourth and long. The Leopards will have to send the punting unit out on the field. It's going to be that's, Those outside runs are going to be a tough go tonight, Jay. Uh, Hot Springs is just got more speed than we do getting out there. There were three Trojans out there waiting on them. And Lance Wise, who averaged 42.8 yards per punt with four attempts last week, almost had it blocked. He gets it off, and it's going to take a hot spring. Oh, now it's going to take a leopard roll. Not much distance on that one, however, as it's going to be down at the DeQueen 36-yard line. So with 9.25 to go opening quarter, Hot Springs is going to start with great field position at the DeQueen 36. And the Trojans already leading seven to nothing. I'm going to tell you, Lance did a good job just getting that ball out of there. Yes, he did. I was wondering if he might have got tipped. No, I don't think it was tipped, but he was definitely rushed and couldn't fully extend his leg. It was it was a good effort. So Contreras and the Trojan offense right back out there. Perry Jones will line up to his right. Contreras will play action down the middle. Has a man drops it, however. At the 20 yard line, in and out of the hands of number 30 for Hot Springs. That's going to be uh, David Hope. <laughs> that first dodge was on the stairs, Rick. They sure did because he was wide open. Could have ran for a while if he had just caught the ball, and I think that's probably why he dropped it. Second and 10 at the between 36. Contreras is a pistol straight ahead, and off to Jones across the 30. Lowers his shoulder, he'll get down to about the 28-yard line. He's going to pick up a eight, and that's going to bring up third down and short. Brought down there by Wise. Yeah, our leading tacklers this year, Greg, play in the secondary, and that's not a real good sign. No, it's not. We've got a timeout on the field. With 8.36 to go, opening quarter, it's 7 and up in Hot Springs. We're back in one minute. Are you ready for fiber to the home internet service? Four States Fiber is in the process of building a network to reach every Southwest Arkansas Electric Cooperative member, bringing one gig fiber internet service to homes and businesses with unlimited data, free installation, and no contracts. From high school sports to the hogs to the pros, stay in the action as you stream your team to victory. Visit fourstatesfiber.com and click on check availability for more information. Four States Fiber, internet service you can be happy about. Ivan Smith Furniture carries the most popular brands to create comfortable and stylish living spaces. From special orders on your favorite brands to accessories, appliances, and mattresses, rest easy knowing Ivan Smith has you covered. Visit our website, ivansmith.com, and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Ivan Smith Nashville. We invite you to stop by and experience the service you deserve located in the furniture corner in downtown nashville let us help you bring it home with ivan smith furniture following the timeout, perry jones gets the call and he's gonna be tripped up after a couple of yards down the 26 yard line but just enough for another hot spring first down good job by Barton there Yep, he tripped him up or it would have been a big game. Contreras wants to throw. Looking into the end zone, now he's going to run. 25, 20, turns the corner at the 15. He's going to run out of bounds at about the 12-yard line. That's going to be a 14-yard quarterback keeper by Matt Contreras and another Hot Springs first down. Just nobody open. Good job by the secondary that time for the Leopards, but 
And you got to contain the quarterback when you do that. So the Trojans right back in the red zone, first and 10 at the Leopard 12 yard line. Hot Springs leading seven to nothing. Contreras straight ahead to, to John to a Perry Jones, and this time Leopards defend it much better, and they'll hold him to a two yard gain. Down to the 10 yard line. We will bring up second and eight. Leopard football, football proudly brought to you by the Housing Authority of Sevier County, providing safe and affordable housing. From the DeQueen 10, Contreras in the pistol. Contreras wants to throw the football. Now he's flushed out of the pocket to his left, wants to run, cuts the field at the 10, breaks a tackle at the 5, and he's into the end zone for the Hot Springs touchdown. With 7.25 to go in the opening quarter, Matt Contreras beating the Leopards on that drive, Greg, with his feet. Yeah, Le- uh, Leopards had three opportunities at him that time, Jake. He made a great run, made a miss, and scored a touchdown. On to attempt the extra point will be Tolentino. Good snap. The set, the kick is good. 14 to nothing, Hot Springs back for the kicker in one minute. If you've ever bought or sold a home farm or business, you know how important it is to have an experienced professional on your side to handle the closing. Queen Abstract has been making real estate transactions go smooth for many, many years. Whether you're buying, selling, or refinancing, trust the Queen Abstract Company. I do. Proud supporter of the Queen Athletics, Queen Abstract Company. Call them at 870-642-2533. Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services, formerly Rebels and Company CPA, is the same great people offering you the same great services, just under a new name. Go see Sandra and Fernando for all your accounting needs and questions at 990 Highway 70 East in Queen. They're about more than just the numbers. They're about helping people get it right. Personalized service that their clients expect and deserve. Bilingual services are always available at Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services. Phone them at 642-5900. Larry Labro will field this kickoff much more cleanly. And this time you'll get across the 25-yard line up to about the 27-yard line. Nice job that time by Larry Labro. Good job by Larry that time to run that kickback. Hot Springs scoring drive that time was a 36-yard six-play drive, taking two minutes for the final 10 yards, covered by Contreras on the run. Now the Leopards went three and out offensively on their first series, three plays at no yards. So let's see if we can get the offense rolling this time. The fullback is Quintero. The left is on set. Binkley underneath center. They'll bring Cardo in motion. Straight ahead handoff to the fullback Quintero and Hot Springs stays at home and they'll drop Garrett after a pickup of about a yard. We'll call it second down and nine. A lot of eye candy that time, Greg. We yes. had slot backs. Running every which direction. That's right. And ended up giving it to Quintero. They didn't pull the defensive line of the Trojans, OJ. Second down and nine. We want to thank our rotating sponsors on DQTV tonight in the upper left hand corner Southern Home Furniture and Interiors, the Queen Auto Group, George Rebus Garage and Record Service, and Kawasaki of Idabel. From the 27, here comes Esther. Donovan's going to get up to about the 30-yard line for a pickup of two. And it's going to bring up third down and seven at the Leopard 30-yard line. Tough running by Donovan Esther that time. Just, just not a lot of room in between those tackles, Jay. Yep. Hot Springs really crowding the line of scrimmage. Yeah, you, you know, they've got all 11 of their players within five yards of the line of scrimmage. So it makes it tough to run. Yes, it does. We want to thank our uh, all of our DQTV sponsors tonight, including our school board sponsors, Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services and Trial Lakes Realty. Hickley looks to turn the corner, but can't do it. He's ridden down for a loss. Back at about the original line of scrimmage. And they're going to spot it at the 28. So it'll be a loss of two that time for Cole Beakley. And the Leopard's going to go three and out again 
Six rushing attempts, net one yard, Greg. We're just not getting it done yeah. on that side of the ball. Well, tough, tough run in there when, you, you know, he had to go around one defensive player. When he did that, there were three or four there to meet him when he got around the other side. It's a high snap over the head of Lance Wise. Back inside the five-yard line. The ball's loose in the end zone. And Hot Springs is going to recover it for a touchdown. Wow. Number 14 recovers the fumble. Eli Eagleston. When it rains, it pours. Snap it over the punter. head. We haven't seen that mistake since the Vena game. No. It, it, uh, it was way over the punter's head. Yeah. Lance tried to cover it up about the two-yard line. They just squirted it out from him and, and went in the end zone and was recovered by the Trojans. Credited with a touchdown is Eli Eagleston. And Tolentino, who got a whistle before the kick. We had a small size on us. All sides against us. <laughs> We're going to move it first penalty of the night against either team is a one yarder against the Leopards. Down on the one yard line. Hot Springs will keep the extra point unit out on the field. Tolentino, two for two thus far. And make it three for three. With 5.04 to go, opening quarter, 21 to nothing, Trojans back to the kickoff in one minute. Not only is Pilgrims a good employer and a top-notch corporate citizen, employing over 1,400 employees locally and 322 contract growers in Sevier and surrounding counties, in fact, the total economic impact that Pilgrims has in southwest Arkansas is over $80 million annually. With the processing plant in Queen and the female in Hatchley in Nashville, Pilgrims is a good corporate citizen. Apply today at the HR office in Queen. Pilgrims is an equal opportunity employer. You have questions. We have honest answers. Planning your funeral may seem like a daunting task. We know you will have many questions. We also want you to know we will answer your questions with honesty and fairness. Our pre-arrangement specialists will guide you through the process with compassion and dignity. Call today at 642-6461 to learn more about your options. Chandler Funeral Home of DeQueen, we're dedicated to the care of those we serve. And the Leopards will insert uh, that time Ulysses Cotto, I believe, where oh, oh, that was Labor. Labor again, Larry Labor. He's getting better at it. He got it up to the 29 that time. As uh, when they pinpoint where they want those kickoffs to go, they put it right about the uh, the green 15, 16 yard line. And uh, Larry caught that one on the run and took it back to the 29. So that's where the Leopards will start with 457 to go in the opening quarter, and they're down three scores. We'll go to the eye formation this time. Esther will be at the top of the eye, and he's has his feet chopped out from under him. He'll lose a yard back to the 28-yard line. Wow, we're just not getting any blocking up front at all. No, it's uh, hard for five to block eight or nine. That's exactly right. You got two-yard well, loss again. All eleven. We got second down and twelve. Defensive players within five yards of the ball. Maybe seven yards. Fox on the move. Offense uh, yet to get on track tonight. Third possession of that. We're going back to the eye. Cotto in motion left. They'll hand off to Esther running left. He's going to run into a stone wall. Not the original line of scrimmage, the 29-yard line. He'll get the yard back he lost a moment ago, but it's going to bring up third and 10. It'll be homecoming next Friday night at Leopard Stadium as... We entertain the Camden Fairview Cardinals and the homecoming queen, Alexa Monroy, and her court will be presented about 6.30 at Leopard Stadium on Friday night prior to the 7 o'clock kickoff. Third and 10, Binkley surveys the defense. Now we've got a whistle stopping the play, and we're going to have... What? I guess they call timeout. 
Timeout on the field. So we'll take one, two with 3.30 to go opening quarter. 21 to nothing, Hot Springs. Back in one minute. $1.2 billion. Imagine what you could do with that much money. Well, thanks to the Arkansas Scholarship Lottery, you don't have to imagine because we can tell you exactly what's possible. You can fund more than 720,000 scholarships for Arkansas students. Scholarships that have educated teachers, nurses, engineers, welders, computer coders, and more, changing their lives and reshaping their communities in the process. So keep playing, Arkansas, and together we can imagine what happens next. Your best source for lumber and building materials is Bailey Discount Building Supply in Dequeen. Bailey offers paint and stain, hardware, plumbing, electrical, cabinets, and vanities, concrete steps, and even generators, and Cajun cookers. Literally everything that you'll need for your next building project. And you'll also experience the best customer service anywhere. That's Bailey Discount Building Supply. Visit them at 880 East Collin Ray Drive in Dequeen or call them 870-642-2851. Leopards will run out of the pistol this time. They'll run the option right with Binkley pitching to Hester. And we'll have our best gain of the night up to about the 36-yard line. We're going to bring up fourth and three. So, Kip Donovan, seven on that carry. A well-designed play as the Leopards uh, had the pitch. Uh, it kind of sailed a little bit on cold. But they're not a running room on this near side. Yeah, they're going to go for it. Yeah. Here we go, fourth and three. And the Leopards are going to go for it. Binkley will, Binkley will stay in the pistol. Tony says we'll just try to draw him off, and we did. Wow. Lag on the play. Boy, Leopards get a break as the Trojans jump into the neutral zone on fourth and three, and that will give the Leopards their first first down of the night out to the 41-yard line. We'll take it any way we can get it, man. Hurrah breakfast tomorrow at Herman Dirks Park, uh, Senior Citizen Center from 8 to 10. $7 for adults, $4 for ages 12 and under. Bacon, sausage, biscuit, and comeback gravy, eggs, juices. It'll be a big time. Sponsored by the Rotary Club with all proceeds going to the museum. Binkley. Hands it ahead to Esther, looking for a hole. Nothing develops, and Donovan's going to lose a yard back to the 40-yard line. Tough running right there, and nothing in the hole. He tried to go the other way, and they're just – he got scored by the coach. Second down and 11. In tonight's action, since it's a road game, can be viewed live on DQTV. Just go to YouTube and search for DQTV. You can pull the game up to Queen at Hot Springs. October 6th. Second and 11. Leopards at their 40 yard line. They're going to stay in the eye this time with Cotto lined up in the slot left. They're going to run the option left. Binkley uh -oh. is ground, and Binkley is going to be hit for a big loss back inside the 35 yard line. He'll spot it at the 33. Binkley will lose seven. On that carry, that's going to bring up third down and about 18. Balls on the play. Cole tried to do what he could that time, but the pitch man was covered, and he was covered too. Uh, just nowhere to go with the ball. Clock's on the move, approaching the minute 30 mark here in the opening quarter. It's been all hot springs. 21 to nothing. Georgia scoring on their first two. Offensive possessions of the night. Then a bad snap on a Queen punt was recovered in the end zone for a Hot Springs third touchdown. Hinkley wants to throw, and it's uh -oh. going to be intercepted at the 30. Back to the 10. Touchdown, Hot Springs. As they pick off the three minutes of the It's going to be Calix. Wow. Calix. Score coming with a minute four to go. Second turnover of the night for the Leopards. And Calix Kucha returns it 30 yards for the pick six. And the Leopards are in big trouble here in the Spa City tonight. Ryan Tolentino on to attempt the extra point for the Trojans. Now we're going to have another timeout before the PAT. So we'll take one, two, a minute four to go in the opening quarter. 
27 to nothing, Hot Springs with a PAT pending. We're back in a minute. Hi, I'm Marie House, CEO of Sevier County Medical Center. I want to take this moment to extend our gratitude to the community for their continued support of our new and greatly needed hospital. To our Board of Governors, Informed Court, and to our patients and all of those who help pass the hospital sales tax measure. Thank you for your support of Sevier County Medical Center. We are a community-centered health care facility with the goal of ensuring the health and well-being of Sevier County and all of Southwest Arkansas. Thank you for helping us make our community both stronger and healthier. Hot Springs penalized 10 yards for holding on that play. I'm not sure what happened there, Greg. I, I, I didn't they, know they ran a play. I didn't think we did either. And then, but anyway, they got penalized 10 yards. Now they're going for two. Okay. Yep, they bring Contreras, Barry Jones, and the offense back out on the field. Got to watch number zero out of the right, split out to the right, T.J. Brogdon. And Jonathan Mahina has the tough task of trying to stay one-on-one with him. He's got, what, 11 touchdown catches? Well, now he's got 12 after the first one tonight. I think he's got actually 11 catches and one rushing touchdown, Jay, but he's got 12 touchdowns this year. Well, and then the one he got earlier tonight. God, I'm counting that one. Okay. Because he had 11 total. One of them was rushing. Gotcha. Here's the try for two. Brogdon's going to throw out the left flat. It's complete, but the Leopards are going to stuff it for no gain. Well, he actually gained about seven or eight yards, but not far shy of the goal line. Well, they take the, they take the touchdown off the board. Okay, on that. So, seven yard gain on the play. Well, spring started at the 13 yard line. I got a lot of catching up to do here. And the Leopard's going to stuff another play. Harry Jones on the carry. Harry Jones going to be hit for no gain at the six-yard line. Who was the receiver on that first catch there, Tony? Did you happen to see? Well, yeah, um, it's over, over here on the left side, 10. I, I can't tell if it's 10 or 16. Over here on, it would be right in front of you guys. Okay. I can't see until he turns. I believe it's 10. Yeah. yeah. Xavion Mitchell's listed as a wide receiver, so we'll go with him. He's 16. Picked up about seven yards. Another holding penalty on Hudson. Holding yep. against the Trojans. So the Trojans penalized twice on we got second down. And or, I'm sorry, three times for 25 yards. That'll move it back to the 17 where it's second down. And Contreras play action. Looking down the middle, throws incomplete. In the back of the end zone, intended for Ho. Good coverage back there, Lakota. Bring up third down in about 14. Well, this would be a big stop for the Leopards as you nullify the uh, pick six as they had a holding penalty on the return. Leopards got a big break that time, Greg. They really did. I can't imagine they were holding on the one-yard line, but they must have hit. There wasn't anybody within 20 yards of the guy. And the Leopards oh. missed Contreras. He's going to step up the middle. Ten, five. He's going to get into the end zone. And a hot spring touchdown. We got another back at the 15-yard line. Now the young man got a pick six, Greg. And uh, there's nothing but green turf ahead of him. I don't know. Who would have held at the one yard line? I don't know. We didn't have anybody there. No. But anyway, we'll take it. Looks like they're going to bring another touchdown back here. As Contreras had all his receivers well covered downfield, he's going to pick up three on that carry, but they're going to mark off 10 more. Another hold. Back to the 25 yard line. Hot Springs now penalized four times for 35 yards. We're down to 36 seconds to go in the quarter. Third down again, all the way back to the 25-yard line now, and the Leopards are going to jump in the neutral zone. Right on play. Don't make for the So instead of uh, third and 21, it's now going to bring up third and 16, following the encroachment penalty against the Leopards. Contreras in the pistol takes the snap, steps up in the pocket, scrambles to his right, 20, 15, that's back at the 10, 5, and he's going to be hauled down. Did he get in? Yes, he did. 
22 yard uh, got a flag another flag thrown i didn't see it side judge on the hot springs side for well, that yeah, was way back there the too yeah that's going to be coming back as well so the third touchdown of this <laughs> series has been will be called back by the officials Holding again, they'll spot it. They'll step it off of the spot of the foul, which was the 22-yard line, yeah, all the way back to the 32-yard line. Well, surely we stop them here, Chris. It's uh, third down. They got to get all the way down to the four. So it's third and 28 from the 32-yard line. We got to keep Contreras in the pocket. That's for sure. Yeah, they get trips to the right. Yep. Contreras, low snap, he picks it up. Going downfield, he has a man open for the touchdown. That's going to be Ho, number 30. Wow. Well, he had to catch one sooner or later, Jay. 32 yard touchdown pass. From Matt Contreras to David Ho, and the Trojans overcome fourth and 28. And score with two seconds to go in the opening quarter. On to attempt the extra point will be Colantino. Good snap. And his 20 dump nope, going to be blocked. So the score is going to remain. It'll be seven to nothing. Hot spring. Back for the kickoff in one minute. At Weyerhaeuser, our trees provide clean air and water, wildlife habitat, recreation, renewable energy, great jobs, and a sustainable supply of wood for the products people use every day. We depend on strong relationships with our communities because without your support, we can't operate. And perhaps most of all, we depend on our diverse and talented people who join our team. We're serious about safety, driven to achieve excellence, and proud of what we do. We offer a wide range of exciting career opportunities for people who are just as passionate about making a difference as we are. Looking for a bank that cares about you and your community? First State Bank is your community bank. We're involved in our community because that's important to us. That's what local businesses do, and we're a local business too. Visit us to see how you can join the First State Bank family today. You'll even get a free gift if you join because that's local. Between Thermal Waters, Thoroughbreds, and the world's shortest St. Patrick's Day Parade, this town isn't trying to be unique. It just comes naturally. Come experience this slightly unconventional and completely wonderful place called Hot Springs, Arkansas. For more info, visit hotsprings.org. It's football time again, and Farmers Bank and Trust is ready to help you through this season of life. From My Start Savings Accounts to School Spirit, with those Snapchat filters, Farmers Bank and Trust is here to cheer your family on. Find us in Queen. Welcome to Farmers Bank of the Queen. Or any location and come home to Farmers Bank. To learn more, go to myfarmers.bank or stop by a branch today. 
Farmers Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing, lender. First quarter belonged to the Trojans. Time for the second quarter brought to you by Rise and Shine Cafe in Granite. If you're looking for good old-fashioned southern home cooking, there's no better place than Rise and Shine Cafe in Granite, Arkansas. They offer a variety of breakfast, lunch, and dinner items in a very clean, cozy atmosphere with farmhouse decor and friendly hometown services. And off to Esther, and he swarmed in the backfield for a loss of about two. He's going to lose three back to the 36-yard line. Go ahead about Rise and Shine there, Greg. Okay. Rise and Shine Cafe in Granite now offers flavorful coffees and whipped cream for a refreshing treat. For daily specials, locations, and hours, visit Rise and Shine Cafe on Facebook. You can also stop by and pick up a copy of Patty Joe Wheeler's new book, published earlier this year, My Little Cody Book, a heartfelt true story about the loss of their child and how faith carried their family through that terrible tragedy. And we appreciate Rise and Shine Cafe sponsoring our video on DQTV. And the Leopards will leave it with Bahena this time, and John John's going to be ridden down for a loss of two more on his first carry of the night. We're going backwards, Greg. We start the 39, two carries. We're back to the 34. So. Yeah, it's just tough running, man. But um, Again, they've got 11 people within five yards of the line of scrimmage. It's, it's tough to run. I want to mention Rise and Shine just really quick. they got really great breakfast. It's just makes me hungry just thinking about it. I like to stop by there and get a salad at lunchtime. Mm-hmm. All right, Binkley's running for his life, turns the corner momentarily, and he'll get it back to the line of scrimmage, the 34-yard line, but that's it. Boy, we're going to have negative yardage and total offense here at the half unless the Leopards could get something going. I, they've had a hard time getting anything moving. That's been challenging. And uh, nobody wants to stand around Coach Richard Bell right now. Everybody giving him about a five-yard cushion over there. Wise will get a foot into it, almost blocked. It'll be line drive, will be fumbled, but picked up by Hot Springs. Wow, look out. He's at the 45, gets a block, midfield, breaks a tackle. Leopard 40 down the far sidelines, and he'll run out of real estate at about the 25-yard line. You know, we talked about that earlier, Greg, when they fumble those punts. Yeah. Uh, wow, it's just tough to stay in your lane. Yeah, people get out of their lane. Guys. Yeah, another Got a flag. flag. Another flag thrown. Well, Hot Springs has been their own worst enemy. They had four holding penalties in that last series. Yep. Yeah. Could be. He stepped out of bounds at the 2640. Let's see where they spot it. Yep, you're right, Tony. They're going to step it off against the Trojans from the 27 yard line. It's going to be a 15 yarder back. No, it's starting at the 40 and going back. Oh, okay, my bad. It's start at the it's 42. Be a hole. It's going to wipe about the whole return. Yep. 10 yard penalty. That's their fifth holding penalty. So far tonight, and they're going to start for the first time inside their own territory, barely, at the 49-yard line. 9.47 to go until halftime. Contreras in the pistol. Twins to the right. Takes a snap straight ahead, end off to Jones, picks his way across midfield. Ooh, he's going to be hit hard at the 48 yard line. Leopard still applying some leather out there, Greg. Yeah, Martin in number 71, Romario Fajina. Ooh, that's going to be uh, Darion Henderson. Oh, Henderson. I don't think Romero's playing tonight. Well, this time. Jones gives ground, and it's a huge loss all the way back to the 45-yard line. Well, you can't play that any better defensively, Greg. Yeah, Rusty Bermio, uh, Ulysses Cotto, both in there on the tackle that time. Ulysses a little shook up. He'll lose seven. 
Great defensive play there, Tony. Absolutely, and that's what you got to do. They strung it out. They gave him no option but uh, to take a hit, run out of bounds. He couldn't cut back inside. We're going to have an injured leopard, Cotto. We'll slow to get up. We'll come out and take a look at him. So we'll take a timeout with 9 9 to go in the half. 27 to nothing, Hot Springs, back in a minute. Little Rock is where you'll be amazed by everything that awaits every member of your family. Explore sites like the Little Rock Zoo or hike to the top of Central Arkansas at Pinnacle Mountain State Park. Learn about the world around us at the Museum of Discovery. And at the Central Arkansas Nature Center, you can see alligators up close right in downtown. You can tour the Oval Office at the Clinton Presidential Library and walk in the footsteps of civil rights pioneers at historic Central High School. One experience and you'll be big on Little Rock. Learn more at LittleRock.com today. Leopards have the Trojans in a third and 13. They'll throw complete. They're going to tackle the receiver in midfield. Pick up of only about five yards as a Leopard defense finally gets a stop here. That's a great defensive play, Greg. Yeah, first hit by Jared Munoz there, and Lance Wise and several other players there to bring him down. The receiver was Tyrell Honey, number 16. And they're going to go for it, and they convert on the fourth and eighth. Yeah, brought down by Esther there. But man, what a run. Ball carrier number 21, Tyler Hollins. And he gets it uh, it's a 40 yards and the first down from the 30. Hand off again inside the 20. Pick up of 11 yards on that carry by Tamar Hollins. Esther on the tackle again. Hot Springs going fast. I looked down to write a stat down. I looked up and they're going for it. They convert on the fourth and eight at midfield. Here comes Jones with blockers in front. Another flag. Get down to about the 12 yard line. Play stands. It's a pickup of about eight, but as Greg mentioned, believe that one's coming back too. Yeah, it's going to be another hold. My goodness, I've never seen so many holding penalties and a half. Oh, they give Jones two on the carry and then a 10 yard holding penalty against the Trojans back to the 28. They've now been penalized seven times for 75 I think yards. They marked that off, right? Did they, Tony? Well, it, it didn't, not where I thought it should be. It should be a 10 yard penalty. That's the maximum it could be. Right. Contreras will throw incomplete as he was pressured heavily that time by young sophomore Zayden Dikazis, making his first start of the season. And uh, boy, he got through there that time. He sure did. I hope I'm job. saying that name right, Tony. Is it? I say Dikazis. Yes. That, yeah, and that, I don't know for sure. <laughs> okay. Second down and a long way. The Hot Springs comes with a running play, and it's going to go for six down the near sidelines. Perry Jones, Jr. It'll be a 28-yard touchdown run by Perry Jones. Actually, a 34-yard touchdown run. 34? Wasn't it, Tony? Uh, no, 28. 28? No, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. 7.39 to go in the half. And now Hot Springs, do they kick the extra point here or go for two and try to get the sportsmanship rule? So they're going to line up and go for two as they had a PAT blocked a moment ago. Contreras in the pistol, Perry Jones behind him. Contreras wants to throw, and it's going to be caught. No incomplete. So the try for two fails, and the score remains. Hot Springs 33, DeQueen nothing. We're back for the kickoff in one minute. 
accidents happen. Ricky's Body Shop can repair your dings or accident damage with results that speak for themselves. Ricky's Body Shop makes it easy, affordable, and reliable. They accept all insurances. You have a choice when it comes to repairing your vehicle, regardless of where your insurance company recommends. Plus, professional home, auto, and commercial glass repair and replacement. It's Ricky's Body Shop, Lakeside Drive in DeQueen, 870-642-2811. RRCU is here for you wherever you need us. Do your banking whenever and wherever you choose. Come inside any of our convenient locations and visit with our friendly staff. Check out the user-friendly mobile app and online banking. You can even call Rosie, the new improved audio teller. If you just need cash and it's after hours or on a holiday, you can stop by any of our ATM locations and have an express teller help you get exactly what you need. RRCU, federally insured by NCUA. So the Trojans move 51 yards at eight plays. The kick will be taken by Bahina at the 10. 15, 20, looking for a hole across the 25, dropped at the 26. That's where the Leopards will start. And uh, they have minus yardage on the night. Total offense and only one first down, and that came by penalty. That last scoring play by the Trojans was a – 51-yard eight-play drive, taking two minutes and 12 seconds, the last 28 yards on the run by Jones. So it's been all hot springs here at homecoming for the Trojans in the Spa City. Leopards will start at their 25-yard line. It will be their fifth possession of the night. Only one first down. That came by penalty. They're going to go back to the flex bone. Hand off to Esther, who will try the right side and He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it as he ran out of real estate on the far side of the field. Second down and 10. And we've got a partial eclipse coming up a week from tomorrow on Saturday, October 14th, and you're going to need some eclipse glasses so you can watch the solar eclipse safely, Greg. You sure are, and Rotary has them, and they'll have them for sale at the Hoorah Breakfast tomorrow morning, Jay. Yep, we also have them available at Bailey Discount Building Supply as well as at our KDQN studios. Only $3 a pair. Be sure to get your glasses this week. And uh, the ball carrier going to be swarmed for loss. Bahina never had a chance to really get going upfield that time. That was Quintero. But the fullback, Quintero. Yeah. Get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Well, Tony, nothing really working offensively so far here tonight. No, Hot Springs is, uh, they can't play tonight. You know, it is homecoming for them. You could tell in the pregame that they were they were fired up, they were ready to play, and Leopards are getting uh, their best effort. Leopards letting the clock wind down here. They may just take a timeout. Looking at third and 10 from the 25-yard line, and that's what they're going to do. They're going to talk about it. 6.38 to go, first half, 33 to nothing, Hot Springs. We're back in one minute. State Representative Deanne Vaught is proud to support the DeQueen Leopards, Ashdown Panthers, Horatio Lines, Foreman Gators, Dirks Outlaws, and the Arkansas Razorbacks. Representative Vaught reminds us that our children are our future. Please continue to support all our area schools. Southwest Arkansas is a great place to live and raise our family. Deanne is proud to represent District 87 in the Arkansas House and proud to support this broadcast for the football fans in our area. Are you looking for a place where your educational journey can truly thrive? Southern Arkansas University has helped thousands of people like you earn a degree. At SAU, it's not just a university. It's a supportive community dedicated to your success. Explore the accredited programs SAU has to offer led by experienced faculty who are passionate about your growth. From business and biology to education and engineering, SAU provides a comprehensive educational experience. Join the legacy of excellence at Southern Arkansas University and take the opportunity to shape your brightest future imaginable. Your journey starts in Magnolia, Arkansas. Following the Leopard timeout, Leopard's looking at third and 10 from their own 25-yard line. They're going to line up in the flex bone, and Binkley's going to run the power sweep to the left, and the ball carrier just swarmed. Cotto picks up a yard, and that's it. Fourth and nine. Tough going, Joe. Lashdown playing Malvern pretty tough after a quarter tonight. Yeah, that's 
Albert up seven to nothing at the end of the first quarter at Dick Haley Stadium. And don't forget uh, that game heard on our sister station, 102.1 The Good Bank. And Rex Nelson has all the scores. The snap, the punt is a low bouncing kick. It'll be taken on a bounce at the 46, and the punt returner breaks the tackle. Look out. Midfield. 45 40 down the near sidelines with a lot of blockers up front. Tiptoes down the sidelines for the Hot Springs touchdown. Wow. That's uh, TJ Crop. It was number zero. 40, a uh, 55 yard punt return. And how did he break that tackle? Don't know how to hold of him. You just didn't get him down. So the Trojans have scored on a bad snap over our punter's head. A 55-yard punt return now by T.J. Brogdon. On to attempt the extra point will be Tolentino to try to make it 40 to nothing. Snap's good. The sets and the kick is no good. Off to the left. Score's going to remain 39 to nothing. Hot Springs. Kickoff in one minute. Smiles of Arkansas is committed to providing quality dental care and oral health education to children and adults. At Smiles, patient trust, comfort, and satisfaction are among their top priorities. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Centers are staffed with highly skilled general dentists, hygienists, and friendly staff to offer you the quality dental care you need and deserve. Smiles accepts our kids and most other dental plans. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Center, located in the Cultural Awareness Center in downtown Dequeen. Call 642-SMILE, 642-7645. Howard Memorial Hospital is proud to bring you the latest in robotic surgery technology led by our experienced surgeons, Dr. Bertrand Fonji and Dr. Mark Sutherland. Our surgeons now have access to state-of-the-art equipment for hernia repair, colon resections, gallbladder removal, and appendectomies. To learn more or to schedule an appointment, visit our website, howardmemorial.com, or call 845-3757. Howard Memorial Hospital, providing the best care for you and your loved ones. Kick will be taken at the 10 by Donovan Esther. Tries to reverse his field. He's at the 15, breaks the tackle at the 20, 25, 30. He's at the 40, and he's going to step out of bounds. What an effort that time by Donovan Esther. Good run by Esther there. Thought he was going to be down at the 15-yard line, Jay. Well, he just kind of kept those feet chopping and churning until something opened up, and he got it all the way out to the 43. That's where the Leopards will start with 5-16 to go in the half. We'll have first and 10. Time to get something going here, Jay. Need to move the ball. Hot Springs. Up by 40. I'm sorry, 39. They missed the extra point. 39 to nothing. Trojans and the Leopards, if they're going to avoid the sportsmanship rule in the second half, need to get a score on the board here. Fullback is just going to be ridden to the turf. It's going to be Bermeo getting that carry. There's just nothing there for Rusty. 33. Nothing. His first carry of the year for the Leopards. Results of no game. Now, number second and ten. No game. Well, our oh, junior high Cubs played Hot Springs pretty tough last night. So played a really good ball game. Matter of fact, led 16 to nothing. Luis Sotelo, who's the big back, got hurt and ended up losing 24-16. Good effort by the Cubs. Power sweep coming left is Cotto. He's across the 45, up to about the 47-yard line for a pickup of four. That'll bring up third down and six. Down by number 10. Yeah, uh, Luis Sotelo, Tony, over 800 yards rushing with three games left to be played. Let's hope he can check off that ankle. 800 yards, that's a bunch. That's a bunch. And he didn't play half. Bahena midfield, and John John going to get down near the first down marker. At the four, it is a first down. Pick up of six for Bahina, and that'll be the Leopards' second first down of the first half. And they're in Trojan territory for the first time tonight at the 47-yard line. 
Clock down to 345 to go. Leopards need to score a touchdown to avoid the sportsmanship rule to start the second half. It's 35 points invokes the sportsmanship rule. Quarterback sneak this time, and they'll push Binkley from behind, and he'll get about three yards down to the 44-yard line. Leopards just run right out on that time and pick up three yards on the quarterback sneak. Good run there. We want to thank our DQTV rotating sponsors tonight. They include Southern Home Furniture and Interiors, the Queen Auto Group, George Rivas Garage and Record Service, and Kawasaki of Idabel. From the 44, here comes Bahina again. And John John will get positive yardage down to the 42-yard line. It's going to bring up about third and five. Murphy's World leading Horatio 16 to nothing early. That game being played on AM 1390 and FM 104.5, our sister stations. Third and five. Big play for the Leopards. They'll say Mineral Springs leading Dirks in the second quarter, 18 to 6. Big play for the Leopard offense here. They're going to leave it with Cotto and Ulysses will get down to about the 41 yard line. He'll pick up one, and now it's going to bring up fourth at four. They're trailing 33 to nothing. The Leopards will go for it here. They need to get down to about the 37 to move the chain. So we're calling it fourth and a long three. From the Hot Springs 41 yard line. Clocks on the move down to 150 to go into the intermission. Need this one, Jay. Leopards come to the line of scrimmage. Receivers put out to each side. Flex bone set. He'll hand off to Bahina coming right. Has the first down. 35. He's going to be knocked out of bounds at the uh, 33 yard line. But Bahina is going to pick up eight and another Leopard first down. Good run by John John there. Just got outside. Got the necessary yards for the first down. On this drive, Bahina has three carries for 16 yards. A couple of first downs. So the Leopards on the move at the Hot Springs 33-yard line. Working against the clock now. It's down to a minute 33 to go in the half. They run the option run. Bermio, the fullback with a big hole. He rambles all the way down the 20-yard line, and we're going to have a flag thrown in late. That was a heck of a run by Bermeo. The offensive line had a good push, but that one may be coming back. Spot of the fouls at 24. So if the play stands, it's a nine-yard gain. I mean, the play stands. He got down to about the 20, but... The flag was thrown at the 24, so Bermeo picks up nine. <laughs> but then they'll mark off 10 on the holding penalty against the Leopards back to the 34-yard line. We finally uh, pulled back got a little crease there, Greg, and Bermeo, wow. sophomore, choked, made a good run. Well, you know, the handoff was crisp that time, Jay. I think that's one of the things we're having trouble with. First and 11, here comes Bahina again. Slips past the line of scrimmage inside the 30, down to about the 27-yard line. So that's going to be a pickup of seven for Bahina. Going to bring up second and four. Got to watch the clock. We're down to a minute five to go. Leopards have now moved to the Trojan 27. Inside one minute to go as the Leopards... Come to the line of scrimmage. We've got a handoff to Bermeo, but we've got a whistle before the snap as Bermeo will pick up a couple down to about the 25 yard line, but let's see what the call is. I don't see a flag. I thought I heard the whistle. Time, time out, Hot Springs. All right, time out, Trojan. So, with 50 seconds to go in the half, 39 to nothing, Hot Springs. We're back in one minute. Truck season is now at Gentry Chevrolet. Save big on new 23 Chevy Silver. 
0% financing on America hardworking trucks. Or choose from over 100 quality pre-owned vehicles to meet your needs and budget. Drive payment free for three full months. That's no payment for three months. Hurry to Gentry Chevrolet in Queen or online at GentryChevyInc.com. Are you looking for a friendly and reliable bank? Turn to Idabel National Bank, where we offer an array of banking services for all your financial needs. Since 1921, Idabel National Bank has offered a variety of savings and checking accounts, financial planning, and lending services, including consumer, business, and home loans. Here at Idabel National Bank, we take pride in our customer service. So if you're looking for exceptional financial services, make sure to stop by Idabel National Bank on Southeast Washington Street in Idabel. Idabel National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hot Springs out of timeouts now. The Leopards have two left. Leopards looking at second and four at the 27-yard line. Coming on the sweep left will be Cotto trying to follow his blocker, but uh, Hot Springs will... Stuff him at about the 25 yard line. It's going to bring a third and two. See if the Leopards elect to use a timeout here. As we're down to 43 seconds. Down to do. Timeout Leopards. 43 seconds to go in the half. Leopards trying to get a score on the board. They trail 39 to nothing. Well, the officials huddling. Maybe there's not a timeout call here. I didn't see a flag. No. I think there was a timeout. Had to be, or the clock would be running. <laughs> well, there is a flag. Okay. They say teams did go to the sideline, so we'll keep it right here. Trying to figure Fishel's out what they're going to do. Talking it over. I'm going to say that time that uh, all carrier was who, Tony? I looked up. That's Odo. It was Ulysses. Yeah, we got a penalty against the Trojans. Okay. No game for Ulysses on the carry, but uh, they're going to mark off the fifteen big ones against the Trojans all the way down to the thirteen yard line. Wow! Hot Springs penalized eight times for ninety yards in the first half, and the Leopards get another first down by penalty. Leopards in the red zone now. First and ten from the thirteen. Bahina comes right, cuts up field, and he'll be dropped at the 12. Picks up one yard. The Leopards have two timeouts left, and they're going to take one here with 31 seconds to go in the half. 39 to nothing, Hot Springs back in one minute. If you've ever bought or sold a home, farm, or business, you know how important it is to have an experienced professional on your side to handle the closing. The Queen Abstract has been making real estate transactions go smooth for many, many years. Whether you're buying, selling, or refinancing, trust the Queen Abstract Company. I do. Proud supporter of the Queen Athletics, Queen Abstract Company. Call them at 870-642-2533. The annual Hoorah Festival is this Saturday at Herman Dirks Park in Dequay. Fun and Learn Land Daycare and Preschool in Sevier County Developmental Center on College Drive in Dequay. Salute the Hoorah Festival and the history of Dequay. Congratulations on a job well done, Sevier County Historical Museum. Sevier County Developmental Center, College Drive in Dequay. Saluting the Hoorah Festival this weekend at Herman Dirks Park in Dequay. 31 seconds to go in the half. This is the 13th play of this drive for the Leopards that began at their 43-yard line. They're at the 12. Binkley underneath center. Binkley's going to run the option right. He's going to be dropped on the spot. No gain for Binkley. Now the Leopards use their final timeout. Still just about half to. Still going. Might as well not now. Field goal doesn't do them any good here as they trail by 39. We have a timeout. I'm not sure. Third down. We're down to five seconds. And now we're just going to get one play. Leopards use their final timeout with just three seconds to go in the half. Timeout. Hot, 39 to nothing. Hot Springs back in one minute. 
Children grow up so fast, but it takes just a moment to plan for their future and their education. Start saving today for your child or grandchild with the Arkansas Brighter Future 529 plan. Save for college, trade school, or even pay down student loan debt. Brighter Futures start today. Visit BrighterFutureDirect529.com. To learn more about the Arkansas 529 plan, its investments, objectives, risks, and costs, read the official statement at BrighterFutureDirect529.com. Paid for by the Arkansas Section 529 Plan Review Committee. Arkansas Delta Byways is linked by two national scenic byways, Crowley's Ridge Parkway and Arkansas section of the Great River Road. You can use these routes as primary arteries through the Arkansas Delta, following loops and spurs to venture even further off the beaten path. Add to your adventure by focusing on specific themes to make new discoveries. Check out our new website at deltabyways.com to plan your trip today. This ad paid with state and regional funds. Now the Leopards try a field goal attempt, and we're going to – the kick hit the upright. No good for Rodrigo Garcia, but Hot Springs ran into the kicker. Let's see if it's a roughing the kicker or – looks like it's going to be a – Running into. Running into the kicker. So a five-yard penalty, and that will allow the Leopards to have another shot at the field goal here. They just want to get some points on the board at Hot Springs. But I believe that's a major penalty. They time. should have been. And, and I don't even know if they ever run it into the kicker in high school. Yeah, and and uh, it should have been a 15-yard penalty. Well, it's half the distance to the goal. All right, they set it down to 12. It's a 22-yard attempt for Rodrigo Garcia. And it's blocked. The ball's going to roll around in the end zone, and we've come to the end of the first half. Well, Hot Springs got too much that's penetration that time. It was a... Good drive for the Leopards from their 43 all the way down to the uh, seven-yard line after the penalty. But the Leopards come away empty when the field goal is blocked. And we're going to come to the end of the first half with the Trojans leading the Leopards 39 to nothing. Let's go down on the field now with uh, Tony Stowers and uh, Coach Richard Bell. Coach, uh, we showed a lot of resiliency in second quarter. Played a little better, got off to a slow start. Yeah, anytime you have a, a snap of your head for a touchdown, a pick six, and then a punt return, you can put yourself in the hole anytime. We got to clean those things up and tackle better in the second half because we had him dead to rights on that punt return a couple times on the sack. Yep. Thank you, Coach. Yep. All right, it's 39 to nothing. Hot Spring leads the Leopards at the half. We'll be back to take a look at a busy scoring summary and some halftime stats following this three minute timeout. First State Bank has been serving our area's farmers for almost 50 years. Poultry loans are just one of the many types of agricultural loans that we offer. We understand the agricultural business because we're local, just like you. Stop by any of our branches and speak with a loan officer to see how we can help you meet your agricultural needs. We also offer livestock, farm equipment, farm service agency, guaranteed, and participation loans. Now that's just one of the many benefits you get when you bank with a local community bank. First State Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Legendary coach Paul Bear Bryant from Fordyce, Arkansas once said, It's not the will to win that matters. Everyone has that. It's the will to prepare to win that matters. Congratulations to all the players and coaches who have put in the hours in the summer, in the weight room, in the film room, and on the practice field. I'm Congressman Bruce Westerman, and I approve this message because high school athletics prepare us for victories on and off the field. Paid for by Westerman for Congress. Are you ready for fiber to the home internet service? Four States Fiber is in the process of building a network to reach every Southwest Arkansas Electric Cooperative member. Bringing one gig fiber internet service to homes and businesses with unlimited data, free installation, and no contracts. From high school sports to the hogs to the pros, stay in the action as you stream your team to victory. Visit fourstatesfiber.com and click on check availability for more information. Four States Fiber, internet service you can be happy about. Did you know that Weyerhaeuser began operating in Arkansas in 1956 and currently employs 655 Arkansans? 100% of our 1.2 million acres of timberland are certified to sustainable forestry standards. And 100% of the fiber in our wood products are certified to the SFI Fiber Sourcing Standard. We've been developing new building products and solutions for more than 100 years, carrying on the tradition of providing for our families and neighbors with products that we can be proud of. 
Not only is Pilgrims a good employer and a top-notch corporate citizen, employing over 1,400 employees locally and 322 contract growers in Sevier and surrounding counties. In fact, the total economic impact that Pilgrims has in southwest Arkansas is over $80 million annually. With the processing plant in Queen and the feed mill and hatchery in Nashville, Pilgrims is a good corporate citizen. Apply today at the HR office in Queen. Pilgrims is an equal opportunity employer. Hurry up, dude. The game's about to start. Nothing beats spending the day watching the game with your buddies. Dude, I'm literally right here. Let's do this. Which is why a shelter insurance renter's policy is key to your winning game plan. It protects things your landlord's policy doesn't. Uh, dude, where's your TV? What? Oh, no way, dude. Like that flat screen TV that just got stolen. To draft an agent for your team. See agent Jeff Woods or agency representatives Debbie Seymour, Jennifer Walker, or Christina Carver. Got that punch thing. We're at that time in Hot Springs, and the Hot Springs Trojans lead to the Queen Leopards 39 to nothing as they completely dominated the first half here tonight. It took the opening kickoff at midfield, scored two plays later on a 40 yard pass from back to Paris to TJ Brogdon for a 7 0 lead. Then a six-play, 36-yard drive, capped on a two-yard run. Then we had a bad snap over our punter's head that Eli Eagleston recovered in the end zone for a Hot Springs touchdown to make it 21 to nothing. And with just two seconds to go in the quarter, Hot Springs capitalizes on a Leopard interception, 32-yard run. By, I'm sorry, 32-yard pass from Contreras to David Hole, and the Trojans led 27 to nothing at the end of the opening quarter. There was a 28-yard run by Perry Jones, a try for two failed to make it 33 to nothing. Knott Springs capped the score on a 55-yard punt return by T.J. Brogdon. Extra point was no good to make it 39 to nothing. Leopards drove from their own 43-yard line to the Hot Springs 5. Try the last-second field goal as time expired. There was blocked, and the Trojans get into the halftime with the lead 39 to nothing. And, Greg, our halftime show brought to you by Ari Back Live Team number 73 in DeQueen. Now housed at the new Sevier County Medical Center in DeQueen, Ari Back Live Team is the leading provider of emergent air medical transportation services operating a large number of air ambulance bases with memberships valid across 320 locations in 38 states with a pilot, flight nurse, and flight paramedic. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days of the year, ready to respond to the scene of a medical emergency or to transport patients between medical facilities. Memberships are available for only $89 a year and cover everyone in your household. Your membership crosses state lines so you are always covered and can save you tens of thousands of dollars in an emergency. For more info, visit Airy Back Live Team 73 on Facebook or call Lori White at 870-925-1269. 39 to nothing Trojans on the Airy Back Live Team 73 halftime show. And we'll be back to take a look at some halftime statistics following this three-minute timeout. Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services, formerly Revels and Company CPA, is the same great people offering you the same great services, just under a new name. Go see Sandra and Fernando for all your accounting needs and questions at 990 Highway 70 East in Queen. They're about more than just the numbers. They're about helping people get it right. Personalized service that their clients expect and deserve. Bilingual services are always available at Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services. Phone them at 642-5900. We all have our traditions, from Friday night lights to Saturday morning hunts. These are the traditions we pass down to the next generation. Now, we might have hung up our cleats a long time ago, but come tomorrow morning, we can still put on our camo and hunter orange, because some traditions last a lifetime. Get your hunting license and enjoy a season of memories, both on the field and in the woods. This message is brought to you by the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. Hunt natural. We can sum up McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich in one word. Crispy, but also juicy and tender. Okay, it's crispy, juicy, tender. All one word, but then also pickle. 
Oh, and potato bun, which is two words. Okay, we can't sum up our new crispy chicken sandwich in one word, so you'll just have to try it to understand it. Order ahead on the McDonald's app at participating McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Smiles of Arkansas is committed to providing quality dental care and oral health education to children and adults. At Smiles, patient trust, comfort, and satisfaction are among their top priorities. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Centers are staffed with highly skilled general dentists, hygienists, and friendly staff to offer you the quality dental care you need and deserve. Smiles accepts our kids and most other dental plans. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Center, located in the Cultural Awareness Center in downtown Dequeen. Call 642-SMILE, 642-7645. For more than 150 years, Lyon College has provided endless opportunities for Arkansas students to contribute, create, and lead in our communities. Rooted in faith, Lyon combines a traditional education with a real-world experience in a beautiful small-town setting. As a new member of NCAA Division III, we're committed to providing opportunities for student-athletes to excel in the classroom and on the field. For more information on the Lion College experience, visit lyon.edu. Lion College, a better world starting in Arkansas. DeQueen Auto Group is proud of their full service body shop. Their body shop manager, Diego DeNova, can assist you with insurance claims, windshield repair, and accessories such as bed liners, side steps, and grill guards. Call to Queen Auto Group today at 870-642-3604, option 4. They're located across from the dealership next to Subway. To Queen Auto Group, proud sponsors of this year's Leopard Sports Broadcast. It's the area back live team 73 halftime show. We're at the half in Hot Springs at the Trojan Fleet, the Leopards. 39 to nothing. Let's take a look at some halftime stats. The Leopards limited to just 39 yards in total offense, and most all of that came on the final drive of the half. All the yardage on the ground, leading ball carrier was Jonathan Mahina, five carries, 21 yards. Ulysses Kono had seven carries for 11 yards. Rusty Fermio, two carries for nine yards. Through the air, the Leopards uh, attempted one pass. It was intercepted. 31 plays, 39 yards of total offense for the plane. For Hot Springs, they had 106 yards rushing, 84 yards passing. Leading ball carrier was Terry Jones. Nine carries for 48 yards. And in the air, back to Paris was four of seven for 84 yards. Leading receiver, C.J. Brockton had a catch for 40 yards. 21 snaps, 190 yards in total offense from the approach. Leopards with four first downs, Hot Springs with only seven. Leopards penalized three times for 16 yards. Hot Springs penalized nine times for 100 yards. And the only turnover the first down was that interception thrown by DeQueen. Our halftime score is 39 to nothing. Hot Springs leading the Leopards. And uh, the DeQueen High School Marching Leopard Band making the trip over to Hot Springs, finishing up their halftime performance. And Greg will be back to take a look at some other scores from around the area as our Airy Back Live Team 73 halftime show continues following this three minute timeout. Over the past century, Diamond Bank has worked hard to provide our customers with the best in financial services. We're proud to call DeQueen home and enjoy serving the community any way we can. When it comes to financing, let our experienced loan officers help you purchase, refinance, or remodel your home, fix up your rental property, expand, or begin a new business. Whatever the need, our financial team will be there for you. Diamond Bank, Colin Ray Drive in DeQueen. Online at diamondbank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. I love my church family. Amo a mi familia de la iglesia. I love my church family. At the DeQueen Church of Christ, we are a body of believers on a faith journey called life. We are here to encourage each other and welcome other seekers we meet on the journey of life. Our vision at the DeQueen Church of Christ is very simple and straightforward. We want to be disciples of Jesus Christ. If that is the church you are looking for, join us this Sunday at 10.15 a.m. or check out our website at dqcoc.com. 
The love of football defines fall weekends and in many homes are families, but it's a demanding sport that can cause injury. That's why UAMS Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine is on sidelines and in locker rooms for high schools and colleges across the state, ready to care for athletes with clinics in Central and Northwest Arkansas. UAMS Health, official orthopedics and sports medicine provider for Razorback Athletics and future Razorbacks all over Arkansas. Learn more at UAMS.health slash team. Howard Memorial Hospital is proud to bring you the latest in robotic surgery technology, meaning faster recovery times and better outcomes than conventional surgery. We're excited to offer the same level of care, expertise, and systems found at larger health care centers around the country. To learn more or to schedule an appointment, visit our website, howardmemorial.com, or call 845-3757. Howard Memorial Hospital providing the best care for you and your loved ones. RRCU is here for you wherever you need us. Do your banking whenever and wherever you choose. Come inside any of our convenient locations and visit with our friendly staff. Check out the user-friendly mobile app and online banking. You can even call Rosie, the new improved audio teller. If you just need cash and it's after hours or on a holiday, you can stop by any of our ATM locations and have an express teller help you get exactly what you need. RRCU, federally insured by NCUA. Your best life begins with your healthiest life. At Baptist Health, you'll find the comprehensive care you need for every person in your family. From pediatrics to primary care to women's health, we're equipped to partner with you in every phase of your wellness journey. You'll also find Baptist Health locations and clinics across the state, ensuring we're always there for you when and where you need us. Learn more about the state's most trusted name in healthcare, locate a clinic, find a provider and more at baptist-health.com. Back in Hot Springs at the Halftime Show, presented by Eric Back Life Team 73. We're going to look at some other scores in the area. The Malvern Leopards lead the Ashdown Panthers 24 to nothing. Uh, Murfreesboro leads Horatio 24 to zero also. Mineral Springs leading Dirks 26 to six. And Nashville leading Mina 26 to seven. Just while we got just a minute, I want to mention our, our DQ TV sponsors. The scoreboard sponsors are Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services and Tri Lakes Realty. The rotating sponsors in the top left corner Southern Home Furniture and Interiors, the Queen Auto Group, George Rebus Garage and Record Service, and Kawasaki of Idabel. And we appreciate all those DQ TV sponsors. And we, if you want to watch the game on DQ TV, just go to YouTube, type in DQTV, and it'll come up. A couple of things coming up tomorrow morning. The Rotary Club at the Hoorah Days Festival in the Queen is having breakfast from 8 to 10, and we would love to have you out there at the Sevier County Senior Citizen Center. Bacon, sausage, biscuit, gravy, eggs, and a drink, $7 for the adults and $4 for children 12 and under. All proceeds go to benefit the Sevier County Museum. And while we're there, we're going to be selling some Eclipse glasses for $3 a pair. Now, these can't just be used in April, Jay. They can also be used on October 14th. There's going to be an annular eclipse. And, and I learned what annular meant. But I, can't, I forgot already. I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but, it, but it, it, it would... Uh, uh, there is going to be an eclipse next Saturday, October 14th. And you can use these glasses then. I uh, just want to bring out and mention one more thing while we're talking about some civic things around the Queen area. The Sevier County Chamber of Commerce is having their Denim and Diamonds Gala on October 14th also. Tickets, if you get them pre before the day of the, the event, it, are $65. If you wait till the door, they're going to be $75. going to be a prime rib dinner with an open bar and also have uh, entertainment there jay so be a good time and a good way to to help um support the Sevier county chamber of commerce yeah, that's going to be at the el Rey ranch uh, out west of the queen and let's see uh, mr rotary president you got spike dunlop in charge of the cooking the eggs tomorrow morning uh right. i think uh, marion chandler and uh 
My wife, Teresa Bunyard, are doing the sausage and bacon. Who's who's doing the comeback crazy? Who, That's been, Jerry Davis. He's been yeah, doing okay. that for years. Okay. Yeah, he, he's in charge of the comeback gravy. All right. So you don't want to miss that Rotary Club breakfast. You don't want to miss Hoorah Festival uh, all day tomorrow at Herman Dirks Park. Got a lot of great entertainment. Jackson Van Winkle, Bob Reed, and his uh, group will be uh, performing out there. And uh, but start the day with that uh, – Rotary Club breakfast. It'll be served from 8 to 10 in the Senior Citizen Center uh, there at Herman Dirks Park. Just $7 for adults, $4 for children 12 and under. We're at the half in Hot Springs. 39 to nothing Trojans. We'll be back with more following this three-minute timeout on the Airy Back Life Team 73 Halftime Show. Ivan Smith Furniture carries the most popular brands to create comfortable and stylish living spaces. From special orders on your favorite brands to accessories, appliances, and mattresses, rest easy knowing Ivan Smith has you covered. Visit our website, ivansmith.com, and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Ivan Smith Nashville. We invite you to stop by and experience the service you deserve. Located in the Furniture Corner in downtown Nashville, let us help you bring it home with Ivan Smith Furniture. Here at Warehouser, we have a plywood operation in Emerson, a softwood lumber facility in Dirks, and a nursery and orchard in Magnolia. We also have Timberland offices and operations in Crossett, DeQueen, Hot Springs, and Sheridan. In the past five years, Warehouser has given back to our communities where we operate over $500,000 in grants through our formal giving program. Find out more about our giving fund at warehouser.com. With the low cash and carry prices and the huge selection of items you need for building and home improvements, shopping at Bailey Discount Building Supply in Queen is fun. It's no wonder that Bailey's has customers from Mena, Nashville, Ashdown, even Texarkana and Hot Springs. Bailey's is your one-stop shopping spot for hardware, lumber, plumbing, paint, and much more at everyday low prices. So get your shopping list together for home improvements and see Bailey Discount Building Supply in Queen. I'm Stacy Dowdy, CNO of the Sevier County Medical Center, and I'm here to say our new hospital is here for you. The Sevier County Medical Center has 15 inpatient care unit beds and 10 emergency beds, but also provides a range of routine and quality health care services. We offer imaging and radiology services, respiratory therapy, and lab services, as well as outpatient therapy to help you recover and enjoy life to the fullest. Our specialty clinic is now open as well, with a focus on interventional cardiology. Find out more about the Sevier County Medical Center at sevierrcountymedical.com or visit us in person. It's football time again, and Farmers Bank and Trust is ready to help you through this season of life. From My Start Savings Accounts to School Spirit, with those Snapchat filters, Farmers Bank and Trust is here to cheer your family on. Find us in Queen. Welcome to Farmers Bank of the Queen. Or any location and come home to Farmers Bank. To learn more, go to myfarmers.bank or stop by a branch today. Farmers Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing, lender. The vehicle you'd buy if money was no object? Cadillac Escalade. With cash in hand, you'd still wait months to buy an Escalade and probably pay thousands over sticker price. Don't wait to buy your dream car because you can win one this month from Saracen Casino and or Cadillac. Yes, win a luxurious Cadillac Escalade ESV only at Saracen Casino. Saracen is Little Rock's closest place to play. Saracen Casino Resort, Vegas, Arkansas style. Got no problem? Call 800 522 4700. Jay, Greg, and Tony back in the Spa City in our halftime score. Hot Springs 39 to Queen nothing on the Airy Back Life Team 73 halftime show. Memberships are available for only $99 a year and cover everyone in your household. That's Airy Back Life Team 73 on Facebook or call Lori White at 870-925-1269. Don't forget the Razorbacks return to action tomorrow. They're in Oxford, Mississippi. I guess the Ole Miss Rebels in the 6.30 kick. I don't guess they're the Rebels anymore. Are they, are they the Land Sharks? Yeah, something looks like Land Sharks. That's a hard half to break. I don't know. what They're really not Land Sharks. I can't remember what they call themselves now. Okay. Anyway, we play Ole Miss tomorrow at 6.30. Airtime, 3.30 tomorrow. On uh, your Razorback station, number one country, 92.1. And on our sister station, 
undefeated Washington travels to Ada to battle East Central. And uh, both uh, Washington and Carney can win tomorrow. What a showdown that's going to be in Cersei on October 14th. Yeah. Battle of two undefeated teams. Like what are they called? The battle for the offering plate or something? I don't know. Isn't that right? That may be right. <laughs> All right, that's your halftime show brought to you by Airy Back Life Team 73. Available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year for medical emergencies. We'll be back for the second half kickoff following this three minute timeout. Pickup truck, sports car, motorcycle, minivan, townhouse, two story, farmhouse, fixer upper. What you drive and where you live is different for everyone. So it's important to have insurance that fits your needs and is just right for you. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that, which is why our agents help you design a comprehensive life insurance plan. Insurance that fits just right. We're your shield. We're your shelter. The agent Jeff Woods or agency representatives Debbie Seymour, Jennifer Walker, or Christina Carver. College dreams come true at the University of Central Arkansas, especially now with the UCA commitment. This new program provides a debt-free pathway for tuition and fees for Arkansas students whose families earn $100,000 or less a year. And that impacts everything. It's fewer barriers and endless opportunities. Welcome to Bear Country. Learn more about the UCA commitment at uca.edu. You have questions. We have honest answers. Planning your funeral may seem like a daunting task. We know you will have many questions. We also want you to know we will answer your questions with honesty and fairness. Our prearrangement specialists will guide you through the process with compassion and dignity. Call today at 642-6461 to learn more about your options. Chandler Funeral Home of DeQueen. We're dedicated to the care of those we serve. Simmons Bank, nominated by Forbes magazine as a top U.S. bank, takes great pride in investing in our friends and neighbors. For more than 100 years, we've worked to make our customers' dreams come true, earning trust with convenient and reliable financial tools, checking in savings accounts, home and consumer loans, small business loans, and low-rate credit cards. Wherever you are on your financial journey, we're there with you every step of the way. Simmons Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. Are you ready for fiber to the home internet service? Four States Fiber is in the process of building a network to reach every Southwest Arkansas Electric Cooperative member, bringing one gig fiber internet service to homes and businesses with unlimited data, free installation, and no contracts. From high school sports to the hogs to the pros, stay in the action as you stream your team to victory. Visit fourstatesfiber.com and click on check availability for more information. Four States Fiber, internet service you can be happy about. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. Or as we like to call it, the can't have just one deal. Mix and match a flaky sausage biscuit, savory sausage McMuffin, sausage McGriddles, or crispy hash browns. Want two sausage biscuits? Buy one, get one for a dollar. Want a sausage biscuit and hash browns? That's cool too. Choose more of what you love. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. Prices and participation may vary. Valid for item of equal or lesser value. It cannot be combined with combo meal. Tonight's second half kickoff brought to you by Farmers Bank and Trust. Friends and neighbors helping each other find financial solutions for a lifetime. Leopards will receive to start the second half, and uh, the officials move Hot Springs up to the 40 yard line. Back deep will be Bahina, flanked by Cotto and Labra. It's a short kick, and it's going to sail out of bounds, so the Leopards will get it at their 35-yard line. The Leopards uh, want to get some points on the board here in the second half, try to build a little momentum. As three out of the last four games this year are at home, Greg. So uh, Leopards played really well at home last week for the opening quarter against Parkview. They really did. A homecoming next Friday night against Camden Fairview. Don't forget Alexa Monroy is the homecoming queen. She and her court will be honored at 6.30. We'll be walked uh, on the field by the football seniors in their uniform and pads. It'll be a 7 o'clock kickoff between the Cardinals and the Leopards. 
From the 35, Leopard's going to start out in the eye formation this time. Tailback, Esther met the backfield and dropped. He'll lose two. Somebody came through unblocked. Greg, imagine that. Number 31, Jaden Meadows. I believe they got the second team out there now, Jay. We got a running clock. Loss of two yards on the play. So Esther will lose two. Leopards mustered 39 yards rushing in the first half. One thing that surprised me, Greg, our defense has only forced one turnover all season long. Now through five and a half games. Tailback will try the left side this time. Nothing doing. Esther will get one back to the 34-yard line. We'll bring up third and 11. I looked it up, you know, this time last year, uh, the Leopard defense had four seven turnovers. But uh, this year, only one through the first five and a half games. Cubs will be home. uh, No, actually, Cubs on the road next Thursday night at camp at Fairview. You know what that means, Jay. Sandbar. That's right. Third and 11. And Binkley just, I think he missed the handoff to his fullback and just kept it, but he wound up picking up about four yards, but it's going to bring up fourth and long, and the Leopards will punt it away. Oh, he had ribeyes and T-bones tonight. At, uh, what was the name of that place again? JB's Chop House. JB's Chop House. Pretty good steaks. We'd recommend it. Yeah, that's great. So, Wise on the punt and away. Munoz. Munoz. And a couple of Trojans collide with each other. Munoz is going to kick it out of bounds. See where the official will spot it. Looks like the 44-yard line. The 44-yard line. Well, let's hold it. Where are they going to have first and ten? The officials look lost out there. Now they found. It. Yeah, there you go. We'll move it back to the 44. That's where the Trojans will start. And we've got a going to have a fast-moving second half here. New quarterback, Jay, number 18 for the Trojans. Tavion Holly. Holly. He's in the pistol. Straight ahead and off for pretty good yardage out across midfield to the Leopard 48-yard line. The ball carrier that time is going to be number 15, Kenyon Woods. He's going to pick up eight. Drawn down by Henderson and number 15, Kenyon Woods on the carry. Second down and two as the Trojans go fast here. High snap, but they – Give the handoff to Woods, and he turns the corner at the 40. He'll be tripped up at the Queen 32-yard line. So yeah, Munoz on the tackle there. For 15, Ramble for 15 carry. yards that time. Kenyon Woods, and that'll be enough for the Trojans' eighth first down of the first night. Down. Trojans have scored on a punt return on a bad snap over our punter's head that was recovered in the end zone. From the 32, straight ahead and off. This time the Leopards defended better. And they'll stop the running back at about the 30-yard line. And Kyle Williams in the first one there. Along with number 13, Henry Capizano. Number 71, Darian Henderson. Second down and eight. Don't forget Rex Nelson. And crew have the uh, scoreboard show 10 to midnight tonight right here on your number one country, 92.1. Straight ahead, the handoff, that's Woods again. And he's going to – Capizano gets him from behind. He'll get up to about the uh, 26-yard line. That's where they're going to spot it. So he'll pick up about four on that one. Let's go bring up third and four for the Trojans. Need to get down to about the 22 to keep the drive alive. Clock's on the move, down to 7-10 to go in this third quarter. Hot Springs in command, 39 to nothing. Quarterback Holly 
Leaves it with a running back, number 25, and he's going to have the first down as he gets across the 20 down to about the 18-yard line. That's going to be Robert Blevins. He'll pick up eight, and that will move the chains for the Trojans. Brought down there by Munoz and Martin for the Leopards. First and 10, Hot Springs on the move in the red zone at the DeQueen 18-yard line. These guys are shifty, Jay. Uh, we had three or four Leopards that time that could have tackled him. He just made a move and went by him. Leopard's getting some last-second defensive substitutions on the field. Do you? Now we've got a timeout. So with 6.26 to go, third quarter, 39 to nothing, Hot Springs. We're back in one minute. Not only is Pilgrims a good employer and a top-notch corporate citizen, employing over 1,400 employees locally, and 322 contract growers in Sevier and surrounding counties. In fact, the total economic impact that Pilgrims has in southwest Arkansas is over $80 million annually. With the processing plant in Queen and the feed mill and hatchery in Nashville, Pilgrims is a good corporate citizen. Apply today at the HR office in Queen. Pilgrims is an equal opportunity employer. Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services, formerly Revels and Company CPA, is the same great people offering you the same great services, just under a new name. Go see Sandra and Fernando for all your accounting needs and questions at 990 Highway 70 East in Queen. They're about more than just the numbers. They're about helping people get it right. Personalized service that their clients expect and deserve. Bilingual services are always available at Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services. Phone them at 642-5900. Straight ahead handoff to Woods, and he's across the 15. He'll get all the way down to about the uh, eight-yard line. So he's going to be close to another Hot Springs first down. And it will be enough for the first. No, they're going to call it second and second down? No, they, they call it a first down. Okay. Pick up of 10 for Woods, and now it's first and goal from the eight. And this time the Leopard defense stiffens, and they'll drop Woods. Yeah, Darian Henderson got him that time. Only about a yard. Darian Henderson, a big kid, Greg. They list him at uh, 6'2", 300. He fills out that uniform. Yeah, he does. So Woods gets a yard that time. Second and goal at the seven. Holly in the pistol. Second string quarterback. Straight ahead handoff. And... The new back is going to be Blevins. He's going to get inside the five down to about the one. Henderson on that tackle, too. So a pickup of six for Blevins, and it's going to bring up third and goal from the Leopard one-yard line. Along with Larry Lavery. Hot Springs comes to the line of scrimmage. Leopard front four digs in. Straight ahead and off, and they hit him in the backfield and drop him. He'll lose a yard back to the two-yard line on that carry is Blevins. Good job by Kyle Williamson. Also number eight, Larry Labra, number 13, Henry Camposano, all there for the Leopards. Williamson, OTFL, TFL, a sophomore. All right, Hot Springs is going to go for it. Fourth and goal at the two. Let's see if the Leopards can get another stop here. Holly. Hands off, and they do get a stop. TFL again back at the five-yard line along with a couple of other teammates. Yeah. Blevins will lose three. And, Greg, the guys you're talking about are all sophomores. They're growing up in a hurry. Well, what a goal line stand, Tony. That's something you could build around. It is, and uh, Leopard showed a lot of heart there, kept him out of the end zone. Let's do something with the football, guys. Hot Springs ran two, four, six, eight, ten plays that drive, but came away empty. And the Leopards will start at their own five-yard line. Down to 345 to go, third quarter, running clock. Flexbone set. Hinkley will hand to Esther around the right side. Donovan's in the five, the 10, turns on the Jets, 15, 20, 25. He'll run out of bounds at about the 28-yard line. Pick. Quick pickup of 23 for Donovan Esther. Number 24 for the Trojans on the tackle. Leopard's fifth first down of the night as Esther finally gets loose for 23. 
Good run by Esther there. First and 10 now. The Leopards coming off their five-yard line out to the 28. They're in that flex bone. Romeo, the fullback. Esther and Cotto, the slot backs. Here comes Ulysses running left. He's in the 30, 35, upended at the 36-yard line. That'll be a pickup of eight yards on that carry for Ulysses Cotto. Second down and two. Number 19 on the tackle for the Trojans that time. Little effort showing a little life here against the uh, Hot Springs Reserves. Jane not in doubt at 39 to nothing, but the Leopards would love to get some points on the board here. A little, little momentum heading into homecoming next week. Quarterback keeper and, Co- and Binkley will have the first down as he pushes the pile forward all the way out to the 42-yard line. First down, Leopards. Good job by the line there to just drive the Trojans back, and Binkley just right behind the center just kept moving forward till he had the first down. Leopards coming off their five-yard line after the goal line stand, highlighted by sophomore Kyle Williamson. And they've moved it out to the 47, first and 10. Flex bone set behind Binkley. And he yeah. fumbles the snap. We've got whistles and flags. And we, went, we were in motion. Okay. Flag flag. Referee couldn't find his flag there momentarily. Caught his belt, I guess. The five-yard penalty against the Leopards have now been penalized four times for 21 yards. Again, it's not what we need, Jay. <laughs> Be a, uh, first and 15 at the 36 as we're approaching the 92nd mark here in the third quarter. Bickley brings them to the line of scrimmage. Will Collins, the center tonight, out over the football. Flex bone set. And the fullback will get the call. Bermeo will pick up the five that they lost from the penalty a moment ago. They'll bring up the second down and 10. Bermeo, another Sophomore. Number 33. Let's see. Razorbacks and Old Miss tomorrow at 6.30. Old Miss, what, an 11-and-a-half point favorite? Yeah. You don't hear that much, do you, Jay? No. Razorbacks got a couple of tough games coming up. Old Miss good. Alabama better. Second 10, we've got a whistle stopping the play. Got movement again in the interior line. Let's see who this one's against. Flag on the play. I don't think Toto got set over here on the yep. right side. Five-yard penalty assessed against the Leopards. Well, the Razorbacks have uh, shifted some guys around on the offensive line this week. KJ got sacked seven times in Arlington last week, but KJ's returning home to Mississippi. And I'll look for him to have a big game tomorrow if he gets time. We've got a timeout on the field as we've come to the end of the fourth quarter. Hot Springs 39 to Queen That's Nothing. We're back after this 30-second break. Truck season is now at Gentry Chevrolet. Save big on new 23 Chevy Silverado 1500. Get 750 cash back plus 0% financing on America's hardworking truck. Or choose from over 100 quality pre-owned vehicles to meet your needs and budget. Drive payment free for three full months. That's no payment for three months. Hurry to Gentry Chevrolet in Dequeen or online at GentryChevyInc.com. For the proof that it's 10,000 minimum purchase price from maintenance detail to dealer in 930-23. Fourth quarter presented by the Arkansas Army National Guard. A college education is important in today's market, but many students and parents wonder how they will be able to afford it. The Arkansas Army National Guard offers 100% college tuition paid, as well as $50,000 student loan repayment and a monthly salary and benefits. With Arkansas Army National Guard, you can be a hometown hero, Support your community part-time close to home just one week in the month and get an education without going into debt. Take the next step to start your future. Call Antonio Soto at 870-279-0353 to find out more. 
Donovan Esther will rush for seven yards, and we're underway here in the fourth quarter. Leopards looking at third and eight. They need to get to the Hot Springs 49 to move the chains. From their 44, Bigley will run the option left, and the fullback will get the call, and Bermeo will get out to about the 48-yard line, picks up about three on that carry. Got half of what they needed, Greg, and you got to figure going for it on fourth down. Yep, that's what I was thinking. So they, need, they need a good three yards. They're at their 48. They need to get just inside the Hot Springs 49. Leopards would love to keep this drive alive that began at their five-yard line following the goal line stand. Going to go for it. Lex Bone said behind Bickley. Turns, hands off to Cotto, running left. He has a first down across midfield, and he'll lean to the Hot Springs 46-yard line. Pick up the six yards for Cotto, and the Leopards pick up their seventh first down of the night. Good job by Cotto staking through the defense there to get the first down. The eighth play of this drive coming up. It started at the five-yard line. In the fast-moving fourth quarters, we're down to 10-15 to play. Binkley makes the fullback, and he's just going to have to eat it. Big loss back to the uh, about the 49-yard line. Number seven, little Binkley on the carry. See where they put it down. Boy, he get a very good spot. He moved it back four yards. For five yards. Five yards. Back into he leopard territory the at the. Uh, the Queen 49 yard line. We have second down. Second down and 15 for the Leopards. 940 to play. Binkley underneath center. Hands off to Esther running right. Looks for a hole, but Hot Springs will surround him and drop him at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Bring up third down and 15. Just nothing there for Donovan that time. Leopards need to get down to the 36-yard line to move the chains. Looking at third and about 16, I guess, from their own 48-yard line. We got third down and 17. Beakley's underneath center, flex bone set. Coming in motion will be Cotto. They'll run the option left. Beakley going to be hit before he could turn the corner back at the 47-yard line. Cole will lose another yard. It's going to bring up fourth down in about 17. The Leopard's going to send the punting unit out on the field. Well, the punts have been an adventure tonight, Greg. We had one snapped over our punter's head that was recovered in the end zone by Hot Springs for a touchdown. Then the Trojans had a 55-yard punt return. A lot of mistakes in the punting game tonight for the Queen. Yeah, Munoz back to punt for the Leopards. A good snap. And Munoz will get a foot into it. The line drive will be taken at the 27, 30, 35, 40. And he'll run out of real estate at the 47-yard line. Well, those line drive kicks have return me written all over the boat. They do. Uh, Esteban Alvarez on the tackle there for the Leopards. Got to get a little hang time on those punts. Put it down at the Hot Springs 48, so that's where the Trojans will start. Clock's moving, 7.45 to play in this game. Trojans going to improve to 5-1. They lost to Little Rock Parkview. No shame in that. Nope. But they have their sights set on finishing runner-up in the league, which would mean a home game in the opening round of the playoffs. Quarterback in there is Holly again, young sophomore. I believe. Yep. The official is still kind of standing around. Meanwhile, the clock's running. We're inside seven minutes to go. I guess we're going to do football out there after all that. <laughs> no, they, had get this, they had to get it straight and there was a change over. Now they're returning the Queens football to 
They Our pre- sideline, it was over. Hey, better young Bell again, him, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Rody Bell. Promising seventh grader. Fourth generation Leopard. Which is Dad Richard, the head coach of the Leopards. They're going to throw a pass here. It's complete out the left flat. And the receiver will be run out of bounds. And complete. Number three, the receiver T.J. Ellis pulled back on the tackle there for the Leopards. He, he put a stiff arm on it. A leopard just drove him to the ground. The pick up of eight yards, second down and two. Ollie puts it out on the right flat. It's complete. This time, the leopard defense drops the receiver immediately. For no game. Got John Mahina there, that, along with several other leopards. But thank you, man. Receiver was number 17, Justin Washington. And the third. To bring the third and two. In the truck. Actually, about third and three. I lost a little bit of that. Very Holly in the pistol. And it, we got a bad snap with an official blows a whistle fire to the snap. Timeout. Timeout on the field. With 509 to play, 39 to nothing hot springs. We're back in one minute. Accidents happen. Ricky's Body Shop can repair your dings or accident damage with results that speak for themselves. Ricky's Body Shop makes it easy, affordable, and reliable. They accept all insurances. You have a choice when it comes to repairing your vehicle, regardless of where your insurance company recommends. Plus, professional home, auto, and commercial glass repair and replacement. It's Ricky's Body Shop, Lakeside Drive in DeQueen, 870-642-2811. Your business is up against a lot of things these days. Inflation costs, workforce issues, federal overreach. The list of things keeping you up at night keeps getting longer. The Arkansas State Chamber Associated Industries of Arkansas is here to help. We are constantly working to improve the business climate and make Arkansas as competitive as possible. The Arkansas State Chamber Associated Industries of Arkansas works tirelessly for your business so you can rest easy. Join us today. Hot Springs will run for the first down and more all the way down to the 26-yard line. That's going to be a pickup of 19 yards. Hello, Jay Ferretez on the tackle for the Leopards. I believe that was Woods on the carry. Yes, 19 yards and the Hot Springs first down. First down. Leopards don't usually play, getting some playing time to that. Yep. Straight in and off. Here comes Woods again. He'll lower his shoulder, get down to about the 21 yard line for a pickup of four. Meanwhile, we're down to 425 to play. Juan Hernandez and, and also. Oh, it's number 40. Holly in the pistol. Straight in and off to Woods again. He has a hole across the 20. Finally knocked down at about the 10-yard line. Not before he rambles for 11 and another Hot Springs first down. Well, said the Leopards can get another goal line stand here. They did a, earlier in the half. Holly in the pistol, looking right, throwing in the end zone, incomplete. Intended for... Washington, pretty good coverage by the Leopards there. Yeah, that was number 24 for the Leopards, Jake Munoz, sophomore. Second and goal. Trojans at the Queen 10. You're listening to Leopard football on KDQ and the Queen. We approach the 9 o'clock hour. This one will stop the play. I don't think about it. Hot Springs had 100 yards of penalties at the half, and they haven't had one until now. Until now. <laughs> you see your penalty on back of our five. If you just said that before it happened, I said you put the hex on him. <laughs> Second and goal from the 15-yard line. 
Holly in the pistol. Holly wants to throw left. Has a man. And the Leopards defend it beautifully on the near sideline. They'll drop the receiver after a pickup of only about two. Cole Bass on the tackle for the Leopards there. Good job by Cole. A lot of kids getting to play tonight for the Leopards. Well, for both teams, really. Third and goal. Let's see if the Leopards can hold them out again. 39 to nothing was our halftime score. Holly is going to flip it out in the flat, complete, and a good open field tackle by the Leopards at the 10 yard line. Jacris Munoz. The receiver was uh, 88. 88. Hawkins. Goes for only about three yards. And it's going to bring a fourth of goal from the 10 yard line. So the Leopards rolling left. The quarterback keeps, and he's going to be stopped short of the goal line. The Leopards held him again. They you know, spotted at the four-yard line, three, yeah, four-yard line, so a six-yard game by Holly. But to credit the Leopards here in the second half, Greg, they stopped Hot Springs twice inside the green five-yard line. Yeah, good job by Cole Bass that time. Again, we're down to a minute ten to play. As the Leopards are going to take over at their own three yard line. Leopards will come to the line of scrimmage as we're under one minute to play now. Binkley's gone all the way at quarterback. Hands off to Cotto around the left side. Ulysses still on his feet at the ten. He'll be dropped from behind at the 15-yard line. Do we have a fumble? Yeah, they picked it up. Hot Springs picked it up. They're going to return it back to about the uh, 10-yard line, and that's how this game is probably going to end. So it's a 12-yard gain by Cotto, but the Leopards turn it over. And with 20 seconds to go, I don't think Hot Springs is going to have time to run another play. Uh, the 10-yard line. The 10-yard line. We're down to 10 seconds as Hot Springs comes out on the field. Five seconds. Trojans come to the line of scrimmage with two seconds. And they did not get the playoff. So that's how the game's going to end. Hot Springs 39. And Queen, and nothing. Okay. We'll be back for the body Temple Massage and Wellness Post Game Show following this three minute timeout. If you've ever bought or sold a home, farm, or business, you know how important it is to have an experienced professional on your side to handle the closing. The Queen Abstract has been making real estate transactions go smooth for many, many years. Whether you're buying, selling, or refinancing, trust the Queen Abstract Company. I do. Proud supporter of the Queen Athletics, Queen Abstract Company. Call them at 870-642-2533. Here at First State Bank, we've been serving the area since 1973. We're local, just like you, and being local means we make local decisions, too. We're here to serve you quickly so you can spend your time wisely and not in line. Now, that's just one of the many benefits you get when you bank with a local community bank. Bank at home with us at First State Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Oh, the smell of those charcoal grills. It's that time of year again when the nights are getting cooler and the trees are changing colors. I am Renata jenkins Byler with Roller Funeral Homes, reminding us all with school back in session to watch and be careful for children in school buses, dogs being walked, and joggers. Also, this time of year has us getting ready for those tailgates and big games this week. So play hard, cheer loud, and drive carefully. Roller Funeral Homes, with all our respect. DeQueen Auto Group has a full line of rental vehicles to suit any need. They carry full-size cars, minivans, SUVs, trucks, and passenger vans. 
Their roomy 12 and 15 passenger vans are perfect for family and church trips or sporting events. They also have reasonable price vehicles for insurance claims. Call their rental department at DeQueen Auto Group, 870-642-3604, option 6 for details. DeQueen Auto Group, proud sponsors of this year's Leopard Sports Broadcast. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas's team of over 2,000 employees has one mission, deliver reliable, affordable, responsible power to 1.2 million members across Arkansas. But closings of baseload power plants across America are making this tougher and tougher. We believe in intermittent resources like wind and solar, but the sun doesn't always shine and the wind doesn't always blow. A balance of power game plan that includes every energy resource is a must to keep that Friday night lights bright. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Applications are now being accepted for one, two, or three-bedroom apartments in DeQueen, Horatio, and Locksburg at the Housing Authority of Sevier County with offices at 304 South 13th Street in DeQueen. These apartments are available with income-based rent or flat rent. All applicants are screened and income limits apply. Central heat and air and a stove and refrigerator are furnished. Offering safe and affordable housing, it's the Housing Authority of Sevier County at 304 South 13th Street in DeQueen. Call 642 29 60. Hot Springs wins it 39 to nothing. Let's go down on the field now with Tony and Coach Bell. Coach, I was privy to your post game talk there. I hope you don't mind that. You were telling our, our young people there that uh, you know, three mistakes, and it, it's basically a, a two or three score game at halftime. Eliminate the mistakes. We've been in the ball game today. Yeah, I, I try to preach to these guys. We're not a team that can make mistakes. If we're perfect and we play hard, we'll be in every ball game that we play. But when you have three big mistakes that turn into touchdowns that put you in the hole, it goes from an 18-point ball game to a 39-point ball game. And so those are things we got to change and fix. I'll tell you one thing that brought a smile to my face in the second half was the play of your sophomores. Yeah, uh, uh, we had a lot of sophomores start because of the injuries. Uh, but then also, come second half, I put those younger guys in to see how they would do. And uh, they came up, and, and they're laying licks, and they're learning. And uh, you can't you can't keep these boys down. I can't be proud of them whenever they come to the uh, call. Good luck, Coach. You take care. Go Leopards. All right, that's Coach Richard Bell and Tony Stowers. Our post-game show brought, brought to you by Body Temple Massage and Wellness, where tension and stress come to rest. Licensed the massage therapist Sammy Joe Burtz offers therapeutic, deep tissue, Swedish relaxation, Massage assisted stretching services and halo therapy, which is used in the treatment of respiratory disorders, skin conditions like acne, collagen rejuvenation, and more. You can find Body Temple Massage and Wellness beside the DeQueen Health and Wellness Building at 1357 West Collin Ray Drive in DeQueen. For more info, call Sammy at 870-784-7292. And I believe that word is rejuvenation. Sounds, sounds right to me. <laughs> I, I like that line where tension and stress come to rest. Yes. This makes you feel good. Doesn't yeah, it, it does. <laughs> All right, 39 to nothing. Hot Springs wins it. We'll be back today by McDonald's player of the game. And take a look at some postgame stats. Set the stage for next week following the three-minute timeout. Wilkerson Funeral Home, proud to be a sponsor of this Leopards broadcast. Just like the Leopards, Wilkerson Funeral Home has always been a proud, strong part of our community. For years, the Wilkerson family has been serving families in southwest Arkansas. They understand that each family member and every life remembered are uniquely different from any other. Putting families first and ensuring that each life is properly honored is their promise to you. Wilkerson Funeral Home, dependable and professional service since 1929. Supporting the Dequeen Leopards, it's a Wilkerson Funeral Home. At Ibel National Bank, we encourage you to use your skills to make a positive impact in your community through volunteerism. A world of kindness comes from people just like you who care by volunteering. Community service is so important to us at Ibel National Bank. And working together, we can make our dreams become a reality. Ibel National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. I'm Rex Nelson. As a native Arkansan, I take pride in our state's natural beauty. And as someone who has been in all 75 counties, I've seen how prevalent litter is across our state. It's time for people to clean up our state for those who live here and to enhance Arkansas's image for those wanting to visit. Let's clean up Arkansas. Visit KeepArkansasBeautiful.com to do your part and get involved. This message brought to you by this station, the Arkansas Broadcasters Association, and the Keep Arkansas Beautiful Commission. 
At the D-Queen Church of Christ, we have made youth and families our number one priority. Justin and Sarah Stewart serve as our children's ministers, and Michael and Caitlin Collins lead our teens. In addition to Bible study, our young people go on many trips, including fun activities, retreats, camps, and youth rallies. If you want to get your young person involved in a vibrant youth group that will bring them closer to Jesus, we would love to see you this Sunday at 10.15 a.m. Or check out our website at dqcoc.com. Banking locally does a lot for your community. Diamond Bank is a family-owned community bank that makes all of our decisions locally. With Diamond Bank's new rewards checking accounts, we pay you to bank with us. Earn a high interest rate or get cash back every month. Stop by one of our 15 convenient locations today and discover the Diamond Bank difference. Or visit us online at www.diamond.bank. Diamond Bank, 404 East Collin Ray Drive in Queen. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Legendary coach Paul Bear Bryant from Fordyce, Arkansas once said, It's not the will to win that matters. Everyone has that. It's the will to prepare to win that matters. Congratulations to all the players and coaches who have put in the hours in the summer, in the weight room, in the film room, and on the practice field. I'm Congressman Bruce Westerman, and I approve this message because high school athletics prepares for victories on and off the field. Paid for by Westerman for Congress. Jay, Greg, and Tony back in the Spa City where Hot Springs defeats the Queen by a final score of 39 to nothing. That was our halftime score. Leopard defense did a great job in the second half with a couple of goal line stands inside the five-yard line to keep Hot Springs from adding on. Our best drive of the night came at the end of the first half that stalled at the Hot Springs five-yard line. We summoned Rodrigo Garcia to attempt a 22-yard field goal, but it was blocked, and that was as close as the Leopards came to scoring tonight. Uh, Looking at some of the individual statistics, uh, uh, winding up with 41 yards rushing was Ulysses Cotto. Donovan Esther finishes with 32 yards rushing. Jonathan Bahina had 21 yards on the ground, and sophomore Rusty Bermio, the fullback, Wound up with 18 yards on the ground. Final score is Hot Springs 39, the Queen nothing on the Body Temple Massage and Wellness Post Game Show on West Collin Ray Drive next to the Queen Health and Wellness. Call Sammy Joe Burtz at 870-784-7292. We'll be back to name our McDonald's player of the game and wrap it up for Hot Springs following this final timeout. Your best source for lumber and building materials is Bailey Discount Building Supply in DeQueen. Bailey offers paint and stain, hardware, plumbing, electrical, cabinets, and vanities, concrete steps, and even generators and Cajun cookers. Literally everything that you'll need for your next building project. And you'll also experience the best customer service anywhere. That's Bailey Discount Building Supply. Visit them at 880 East Collin Ray Drive in DeQueen or call them 870-642-2851. Hi, I'm Lori House, CEO of Sevier County Medical Center. I want to take this moment to extend our gratitude to the community for their continued support of our new and greatly needed hospital, to our Board of Governors and Quorum Court, and to our patients and all of those who help pass the hospital sales tax measure. Thank you for your support of Sevier County Medical Center. We are a community-centered health care facility with a goal of ensuring the health and well-being of Sevier County and all of Southwest Arkansas. Thank you for helping us make our community both stronger and healthier. It's football time again, and Farmers Bank and Trust is ready to help you through this season of life. From My Start Savings Accounts to School Spirit, with those Snapchat filters, Farmers Bank and Trust is here to cheer your family on. Find us in the Queen. Welcome to Farmers Bank of the Queen. Or any location, and come home to Farmers Bank. To learn more, go to myfarmers.bank or stop by a branch today. Farmers Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing, lender. What does it feel like to know it matters to others how you're doing? What's weighing on your mind? That you're happy right now, that your body's healthy, and that those around you are taken care of too. Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield has been taking care of Arkansans for more than 70 years, providing health insurance and peace of mind. So you and the ones you love can live your best life your whole life long. Take good care, Arkansas. Ivan Smith Furniture carries the most popular brands to create comfortable and stylish living spaces. 
From special orders on your favorite brands to accessories, appliances, and mattresses. Rest easy knowing Ivan Smith has you covered. Visit our website, ivansmith.com, and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Ivan Smith Nashville. We invite you to stop by and experience the service you deserve. Located in the Furniture Corner in downtown Nashville. Let us help you bring it home with Ivan Smith Furniture. New Year model for your next ride with an auto loan from RRCU. Now is a great time to pre-qualify for your auto loan from RRCU with great rates and flexible terms. Apply online at rrcu.com with approved credit rate and term based on year model amount, finance, and credit score. Think New Year model for your next ride with an auto loan from RRCU, federally insured by NCUA. Hot Springs wins it here tonight, 39 to nothing. It's time to name our McDonald's player of the game. And we had such a tough time deciding tonight between a couple of sophomores. We're just going to give out two extra value meals this week. Hey, you know, I I think that's the thing to do tonight. You know, both of these young men had outstanding games. And, uh, you know, two extra value meals is is worth the effort that they put out tonight. And we're talking about Darian Henderson. Sophomore defensive tackle who finished with seven tackles tonight. And defensive end Kyle Williamson who had six tackles, including two tackles for loss. And both those guys were instrumental in those two goal line stands that the Leopard defense put on in the second half, stopping the Trojans twice inside our own five-yard line. So congratulations to Darion Henderson and Kyle Williamson our McDonald's co-players of the game, and for their efforts, they get an extra value meal of their choices coming week from McDonald's. Always special when homecoming rolls around, and it's going to be a big week next week. It is going to be a big week. Lots of activities at school, lots of pretty dresses. Uh, Going back to something that goes back to my time, uh, the, the football players actually walking the young ladies on the field with their football uniforms on, uh, something Coach Bell wanted to do, and I, and I like that. Uh, Queen Alexa Monroy and her court will be presented at 6.30 next Friday night at Leopard Stadium. And I'll have a parade and everything else Friday afternoon yeah. around town. Kickoff between the Leopards and the Camden Fairview Cardinals will be at 7 o'clock at Leopard Stadium one week from tonight. For all of our broadcast crew, uh, boy, the podcast, you guys just keep rolling with that. Uh, Greg, Tony, uh, Jeff Tuttle, y'all y'all have too much fun with that. Well, I, I mean, you know, we really appreciate all our sponsors that help us out with that podcast because uh, we are having a good time, but I, I'm getting a lot of good feedback from it. I think that the kids are really enjoying it. And uh, that's what we want to do it for. You can go to www.thewashitawpodcasts, plural, dot com, and uh, check out this week's episode of Southwest Arkansas Sports Page on the Air with Greg, Tony, Jeff Tuttle, and Jim Cross, all their special guests uh, on that show. Uh, the Friday night pregame show statewide with Chris Babb and his Washita students. And, uh, Tonight, uh, of course, Jen Albert on the controls back at our studios doing her usual outstanding job. Tony Stowers multitasking up and down the sidelines with stats and in-game interviews. Greg Revels, superb as always with his insight and analysis. I'm Jay Bugyard. Final score from Hot Springs, the Trojans 39, the Leopards nothing. Till we talk to you next Friday night for homecoming at Leopard Stadium. So long, everyone. Have a great weekend. The DeQueen Leopard.